sometimes things happen in your life that just make you go, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Call of Duty Blackout trailer, that's one of those times. Welcome, everybody. This is podcast number 227. Thank you for joining us. We are the bros, the X1 bros. First, it's a man. He's wearing a Weezer t-shirt. It's Mr. McSpicy, Mark Haywood. Mr. McSpicy, how's your week? It's good. It's going really good. It's good. Ooh, there I am. Oh, there you are. There you are. I like that Weezer shirt, by the way. Oh, I love it. I got this one at their most recent concert. That's right. Are they your most favorite band ever or just, uh, you know? Yeah, I like it, Jordan. Or just favorite. Yeah. It looks like you're flipping me off because you're only cut off half the screen. <laughs> there we go. Uh, they fluctuate top three all the time, but probably 90% of the time they're on my favorite band of all time. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate that. Second, he's building a house still. It's Jordan uh, the Man, Jordan Paskett. You can look at that. Look there. There you go. That's weird. I I like looking over there. How Jordan? How is how is <laughs> camera, the house building going? Camera three's on right uh, now. Uh, it's it's coming along. You wish you it's had actually, Minecraft powers, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. It'd be really nice. You can just. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, just, you can just hack away. At just the hack area. away. Oh, it'd be so good. Yeah, and then just put a block up. Well, you could go out to that forest in your backyard and get uh, resources. Yeah. yeah, we got a lot of wood. <laughs> a lot of wood. A lot of wood. Different colors. Wood. Too much wood. Oh, I want to tear it down. No one else wants to. <laughs> Too much wood. And you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too much wood. <laughs> you leave it wide open for that's what she said. I wish I had that uh, clip there. Last but not least, I'm X1. We are the X1 Bros. Black Out Call of Duty. The trailer released. I want to start with the man who uh, used to call this his cocaine. I still call it my cocaine. Yeah, Mr. McSpicy. Now, this is taking the two things that you love and turning them into one. Yeah. What did you think of the Call of Duty Blackout trailer? Uh, what did you think of what you saw? I, I mean, I liked it. It looked really, really good. Uh, there are things that I'm concerned about, but um, typical Call of Duty fashion, it looks pretty cool. Uh, they always look, they normally look cool. Sometimes they have their misses. But uh, generally speaking, they really do a, a good job with their trailers. Um, it was interesting to see the trailer show how open the map is. Yeah. Usually with, uh, with these games, <laughs> the snipers aren't really snipers. They're close range, big single and fire they, weapons. And they made a, if you've not seen the trailer, go check out the trailer. But they made it a point to show off sp specific sniping. Yeah, yeah, and it was it was weird to see sniping from so far away in Call of Duty. Yeah, I mean, like an actual sniper, an actual sniper. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was weird to see an actual sniper in Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> no, because usually in the PvP, you're, I mean, you're just usually it's running gun snipering, right? So, uh, the the concerns I have, I mean, I mean, if you haven't checked it out, first go check it out. It's it's exciting to see a AAA developer uh, jump in and make a new. Uh, arena for PvP, right? Yeah. So it's it's exciting mm -hmm. to see that. Uh, whether you like it or not, there will still be team deathmatch, so you're you're not going to hurt much. But uh, I think I personally have said this on the show before. I think uh, this is the evolution of team deathmatch. Yeah, no, I, I think battle royale is where. I mean, it's just the evolution of where things are going. So I really think it's a it's a good mode. But uh, my concerns are I didn't see any health pickups. Okay. And I feel as though that's a pretty important part. Well, if it's like the multiplayer, you know how you have that injection? Yeah, but that's like, that's... Maybe it's like that. No, because you have to pick up... You got to loot. You got to loot for Royale. your stuff, right? Maybe they'll have different... Maybe, maybe it's a 10... Loot. Maybe a you don't loot health. But, but see, Jordan, that's like, that's kind of an important part of the whole loot. I, 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 I feel as though... If they don't, so let let's take a scenario where they don't have health, right? Uh huh. That means people. I feel as though it it would invite a lot more camping than normal. Well, what if they just keep it on auto regen and not worry about health? You collect everything else. Yeah, I just feel like you won't engage as much. Engage fights. Mm -hmm. I feel as though it'll that. dial it back and it'll be a little bit a little more campy. slower paced. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know. I don't know how I like that. You know, I I mean. Uh, may I, uh, you know, maybe they have it in there, and it just wasn't shown in the trailer. Sure. I, I, and maybe I missed it. Maybe there is something in there, but I couldn't find anything. And I feel as though that's kind of an important 
aspect of that. Well, they didn't game really mode. show the HUD or anything like that, so you don't really know what it was. Just like oh, it was very cinematic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The things that they did show off vehicles, lots of vehicles. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, that's really cool. That looks ATVs, cool. bombs, lots of yeah. explosions. Yeah. We, we got to see a little bit of the smoke or the the blue fog that yeah. they're running through. Yeah. So well, and then what was interesting is there was zombies. Do you think there's going to be like a PVE element? Or do you think that was yeah, just like some type of weapon? That was interesting, huh? Um, that was just like the zombie juice. The zombie juice. <laughs> the zombie. You know, you, like you, you throw, throw the zombie it, grenade. Yeah, and it just. <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting. Um, or do you think there's like certain parts of the map that have zombies but have better loot? I don't, well, they didn't really show any of the. They didn't show anything but high action gameplay. Uh, yeah. During the high action gameplay. Uh, yeah, they did. It looked, it looked fun. It looked fun. They so, did nail it. So I'm. I mean, I'm. After the trailer, it got me more excited for it. You want to waste sixty dollars then? <laughs> Absolutely. All right. I so the only do. the only way to get into the beta is by pre-ordering the game. And I have actually been thinking about pre-ordering the game because I really want to try out Blackout. Uh, beta's next week for Xbox users. Uh, next Friday, I think September seventeenth. Yeah. Got to pre-order. That's going to be really exciting. Yeah. I think I'm going to do it. So doing it. Uh, this is according to the Telegraph UK. There's it's AI zombies that will attack players. Interesting. So that's. I mean. They've done. Dude, I would get so pissed if I was in the top five or something. And a zombie zombie takes you out. I have a a feeling the zombies aren't going to be too big of a deal. I think they just just add. Maybe they. Maybe the zombies are there to prevent camping. Yeah. No, that's true. Oh, there There you you go. go. That's a good idea. They. Let's say that they can smell you, and if you stay in one place, they can really smell you. You know, and then they'll track you down that way. That would be that would be a, an interesting way to keep people moving. Yeah, well, and, and I don't want to remove counteract your health. I don't want to remove camping entirely because a lot of people uh, that don't abuse that that that's a that's a style of gameplay that I think is quite important in these type of games. Yeah. My brother, for example, my oldest brother. He's he was in the military for a long time and he was trained in urban combat and it's interesting to watch him play a shooter because because he protects his life like it's yeah. his own right and so he would work well in these types of games yeah so he would follow the walls he would you know turn corners a certain way and he would basically do what you're supposed to do follow the outsides of the maps and things like that and uh, he's and then you watch his kid play and his kid. Just he doesn't care about his life. He just <laughs> runs in there, yeah. guns blazing. So it's, I think camping is, it's got this negative stigma to it, this negative kind of, uh, you know, feeling. But at the same time, I think that's kind of an important gameplay mechanic for certain scenarios. Yeah. You know? No, I agree with you. Do you think snipers will be good? Well, yeah, it's Call of Duty. Well, Are you no, that's kidding? what I'm saying. Do you know like, how many times I've been think... snow scoped? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, do you think. <laughs> Call of Duty like, loves their snipers. No, 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 I know. But their version of snipers, in my opinion, is not sniping. It's Well, it's now very, it looks like well, it's that's what going I'm saying. to be. Like, do you think it'll throw people off the first week? Like, they can't jump and spin and M- shoot? Maybe it's had bullet drop this whole time and we've never known. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because, because the no one's ever so done small. it. It's so close. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, I, I mean, overall, I'm super excited uh, to have another, uh, you know, enter... An- another developer enter the battle arena. Well, and Call battle of Royale arena. Uh, they're a big name. Yeah, it yeah. will be interesting because what Call of Duty, what you saw from the trailer was their gunplay, and their gunplay yeah. is so. It's called guns up gunplay. Y- it's so good. I mean, that's mm. that's that's the main point of Call of Duty. Whereas Battlefield entering the battle royale, and we've not yet seen a gameplay trailer like Call of Duty mm-hmm. released this week, so it'll be interesting to see how that works. But Battlefields is destruction. Mm-hmm. And, and so, so do they focus? Do they utilize their strengths differently in battle royale? Does it change it? Each is going to be a different experience. It's going to be, it's going to be so fascinating. And then, and then on the on the flip side of that, versus a PUBG and a Fortnite, where each of those have their strengths and weaknesses, it's super. It's exciting times. But I will say, I was on the fence with Call of Duty and with it jumping into battle royale. These triple A's. I didn't. I don't know. I don't know if is it going to work out. Is it just going to be hokey? Hokey? Gimmicky. Yeah, okay. It, it's, I mean, this aroused me. <laughs> this trailer aroused me. It, that's, I, yeah. I've been there. Gaming arousal, it's a thing. Basically what happens is your oh, wallet. Give me the specifics. Well, I'll tell you. Your wallet pops right open. Oh my gosh, shut up. And you just got to spend money. <laughs> like it just, uh. it's, it's called a wallet rection. Oh and my you just gosh, and you just David. you just gotta use it, anyways. 
I don't know where I'm going with this analysis. I think I know where you're going, and I want to put it to an end. <laughs> we need a beep button. <laughs> we need a like beep a, button. We need you. Like a beep button. Cold shower is what we need. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Call of Duty Blackout looks really good. Before we, I want to hear Jordan's impressions about the trailer and what he thought. But first, let's go to our X1 Bros uh, True Achievements leaderboard. Over on TrueAchievements.com. If you want to compare yourself to the rest of the community every seven days this resets, you can do so over at TrueAchievements.com. Just search for the X1 Bros leaderboard. I believe we've got like 500 people on the leaderboard there. So it's a, you're comparing yourself to a pretty big community. The top five this week are Wade Side coming in at number one. In fact, let's just do the top three for now on. How about that? Top three is... There's not a top five. Let's do top three. Here we go. Wade Side came in number one. Psychotic Sully came in number two. Striper Jedi came in number three. Congratulations, guys. Well done. There's a golf club. Golf club. <laughs> There's a golf club. There's a golf club. <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing now? I, I've got to look for something that I took a screenshot of. We also have, I want to announce the monthly Hall of Fame winners. Oh, for, for the viewers. For the viewers. Right. For the month of September. Right. These will go up in True Achievement or the uh, announcement board, but... Coming in top three over there, we've got, well, top five, we've got Cam Chefs, number one. That's two-time winner, Cam Chefs. Let's get a hooray. Hooray, hurrah. Okay. Give it's me a 74 sec. hours last, last month on the, oh, there it is, on the Hall of Fame. So the Hall of Fame is who watches us the most over the month over on Mixer.com. Because uh, I'm Ginger came in second. Oh, 73.8 hours. Oh. It was close. Down to the wire. Oz Bundy Boy came in third. Then Reactor League and R56 Cooper fourth and fifth. Congratulations to them. Well done. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. It's very good stuff. Jordan, was it an arousing experience watching this trailer <laughs> like it was for me? <laughs> no, I thought it was good. So, yes. Yeah. yeah. What stood out? What's, I mean, yeah. What stood out? Good. I thought it was good. You yeah, thought it was good too? Yeah, that was I, the best I, I've ever had. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I've had better. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 stood out to you the most? What really stuck out? And then what? Uh, the uh, the what do you call them? Squirrel suits. Those were cool. <laughs> That's Those what stood two, out to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Is that really what you were thinking of? No. <laughs> no. The, <Okay. laughs> envi- well, you guys said it before. The map, the environments. Oh yeah. And, there, and we started out at a dam. Yeah. Then we went to an asylum. A damn dam. Yeah. The explosions stood out too. I mean, I like explosions. Who doesn't? Yeah, that's mm. so why I probably why I like Battlefield so much. There's yeah. a lot of blown stuff. No, I like you guys were saying earlier. The the map they really showed off the map. Yeah, there was cool little nods, like a little nuke town area. And honestly, what it seems it's like said, is, I think they're just gonna take the best parts of their old maps and just section them off. You do know? You know? It's really smart, actually. Yeah. When it showed the nuke town sign, it said population ten. I'm curious on that's if, in the middle. If, I'm, yeah, I'm curious on if that shows how many people are in the area. Oh, yeah. Oh, that would be a, a super cool mechanic. Someone yeah. around here. Population boards, yeah. signs. It said Nuketown, population 10. And you're like, ooh, there's 10 people in Nuketown. Let's go in that there. That is cool. Yeah. That is cool. Um, Common in chat, or Camo, sorry, says, what if zombies, we talked about the AI zombies, what if zombies is the circle? Zombies that they can just in, swarm you. Swarm yeah. you. That would be a cool, it might be a game mode. Yeah, he, yeah. I think that might be no, because yeah, I think it, I was gonna say maybe you can't do that processor wise because it'd be server side, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, but then maybe you can. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was really cool seeing aerial vehicles. Yes, helicopters. And especially. I wonder like what what is the balance gonna be between them? Obviously, you know when you have air superiority, you're a little bit better, right? Yeah. But I mean, what's the balance Obviously, they, speed, they probably won't have a, you could, you they could, probably won't have a ton of health. You know what I mean? It's not going to be destructible environments. I you've got to you've got to be a bigger target. Inside. So it's got it's got to be risk reward. So yeah, the reward yeah. with a with a helicopter, especially because they were showing someone's in the helicopter and and they are shooting out the side at other players who are like the boat exploded. and and stuff like that. The risk reward has to be that you can dominate, and you can get a, around the map super fast. The risk has to be that you're a giant easy target. Like it must be either rockets are easy to shoot at you. A heat seeking rocket launcher or something like that. Think that you're an like easy a, target, a but you can't be mechanic? too easy. Like PUBG. Yeah, maybe. It, oh, maybe. Yeah, like maybe like gas. They just yeah. You get like twenty feet of gas and then you, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, shoot. you just bunny hop. You're bunny hopping in your helicopter, <laughs> leapfrogging it, so you're not actually flying. <laughs> <laughs> like Superman when he first is related, yeah, he's, he's just, just jumping, jumping really high. Maybe maybe it's like the Mario cape where if you get going fast enough, then you're good. But <laughs> you if you don't, lied. you crash. Yeah, De- you can do the, the bunny hop, yeah. Death Star Destroyer in chat has a good point. He says maybe vehicles show up on the map 
that's a very good point. So maybe you become just super highlighted where you're at. Yeah, oh, yeah, like the radar's blank except for except a vehicle. Except for yeah. vehicles. Hmm, Which makes yeah. sense because that vehicles are what show up on radar. Yeah, yeah. and they're loud. They're I, loud I haven't heard a quiet helicopter. stealth. Stealth oh, bomber. Oh, yeah. Mm. Squirrel suits are quiet. Yeah, that's a good drop. Get the yeah. stealth helicopter. The stealth, <laughs> stealth helicopter. You get that's that, a, you're... Uh, that's a legendary drop <laughs> right there. You get there. that, you're floating... <laughs> So do you think, Jordan, were you so, were you wary like I was about Battle Royale coming to these AAA games? Did this sell you? Well, this no, not sell you? no, I actually think it's really good because they have money. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, and Fortnite I, I, has money. Well, now they do. <laughs> yeah. But no, well, I, they kind of did too. But well, because remember when the division came out, we were like, "Man, it's going to be nice to a AAA game is going to put the polish on." Because at that yeah. time, the games that were out weren't like full, po- you know, they weren't polished all the way, and yeah. You know, so I, and I, I mean, I, I, I don't want to sound bad or greedy, sure. but when you have money, you have more I, assets of development. You know what I mean? So therefore, you can make a, you can make a really Usually good money gets you the assets. <laughs> nice assets. What are you too. on today, David? Uh, <laughs> it's the Celsius. The Celsius, Celsius. drink. Beast 420s. He's hijacking me here. <laughs> he gave, he sent us over these. Thank you, by the way, Beast. I know you said you didn't be called yeah, out, thanks. but these Celsius. Live fit. It's like a hallucinogen. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> that I'm taking here. I don't think it's, it's a orange. hallucinogen. I think Sp- it's... Sparkling I think it's, orange. I think it's increasing your testosterone. It says healthy energy also increases libido. <laughs> oh. That's exactly oh, what's going on. <laughs> there we go. It's a All libido right. enhancement. <laughs> uh, no, I, I mean, hey, the more people that come out with a game mode, you know, the, the more better the it's going to get, right? Yeah. Someone's going to get it right. So do you guys think Halo will come out with Battle Royale, the next Halo? Halo Infinite? I'm sure, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah do you I'm, think it works well in a Halo? Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, did you, did you think <laughs> it worked well That was well a great answer. <laughs> you both just went... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> That's basically... That means why not. That's yeah, Jordan I mean, speak for why not. Did, did, I mean, did you really think it was going to work well in Call of Duty and Battlefield? No, that's I was. Yeah, 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 yeah I was suspicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just didn't. I just didn't want it to be gimmicky. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. oh, now we're jumping on board, gimmicky. But <laughs> I don't see. It's a <laughs> doesn't it's, look gimmicky at all. It's, it's a game like, mode. Ugh, you can't gimmick. Well, it's think a game about mode. Uh, yeah, think about like, capture oof. the flag. This is true. Think that's about true. Slayer. Yeah, Slayer. Yeah, I mean, which is now te- known as Team, team Deathmatch. Yeah, it's Team Deathmatch. Which was which was there before. You know, it was. Was it really? Think about capture the flag. Capture the flag. I like capture the flag. Yeah, okay, I'm wrong. I wish more people would have kept it. I'm play. stupid, okay. Oh, that was really good. I can use that as a sound bite later. Yeah, yeah, you take that. I'm stupid, okay. <laughs> also, I would like you to use my description of wallets as a sound bite <laughs> earlier. <laughs> something, a long something like sound that. Sound bite. Guess what time it is? It's that time of month. Let's get some celebration music going here because <gasps> it's the Patreon drawing time. Yeah. That's right. Every month we do a giveaway to one lucky winner. One lucky Patreon supporter. This month, uh, you get to pick any Xbox with the with the ability to now gift Xbox One games. Oh, here we go. Coming in at six three. You can pick any Xbox One game that you like, and we will gift it to you. So, this month's lucky winner goes to. Wait, what? Do you want to build suspense? No, I was just building the tension. No, really <laughs> yeah, he just grabbed my shoulder really hard. <laughs> yeah. Goes to coming in f- forward. For your Chicago Bulls, <laughs> <laughs> the one and only Brandon Parker. Hey! Brandon Parker, come on down. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Brandon Parker, we will be contacting you, or you will be contacting us. Usually, the people contact us before we contact them. They're so excited to get the games. But uh, let us know what Xbox One game you want, and we will send it over your way. Thank you very much. What were the choices again? Sorry, I. Didn't no pay choice. Any, to that part. Anything. We're open. Oh, anything. Oh, we're wide open. Well, this is an open month. This is open month. We're oh, inclusive. Open season. Open season. Open season. Wow. There's so many games coming out. We can't limit people. That's, this is this is yeah. the hot time of we're year. We're all about freedom. Hot. We're free, baby. Less free. Something more freedom. I don't know. Less, what would you call it in gaming terms? Less, less restrictions. Less restrictions. I don't know. These are the boxers. This, this is boxers. Boxer boxers. Less yeah. paywall. I'm a boxer brief guy. Oh, I am. T- I think yeah. everybody is. The comfort. I don't wear with, anything. With the security. With the security of briefs. Yeah, with the support of briefs. I'm a free man. <laughs> You're free? You go free? All the time. Whoa. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Aren't you scared? No. Aren't you scared? It's like, it's, I'm never I, scared. See, I look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, tell everybody what happened, by the way, to your phone case. So it, for those of you that don't know. Yeah, I was really mad at last Mark and month, David this week. <laughs> last week, I announced that I was yeah. going naked. No yeah. cover on my phone. We're going just full body, baby. Yeah. Which... I'm back to a case. 
because which I went to Bear Lake with with no case and it survived. It survived. But I'm back with the case because I switched over to Verizon, so now my phone actually does what it's supposed to. Oh. I moved from Sprint. I hate Sprint. They just it just where I'm at, there was never any server. You guys witnessed it. I was in the middle of Los Angeles at E3 and I couldn't download anything. Yeah, and they had a big router too. Yeah, they had like an antenna know, in the middle. Such an off of that one. Yeah, it's just is there unlimited data? I've been streaming everything. It's been fantastic. Yeah, but you're paying like a lot of money now, aren't you? Uh, no, forty bucks a month. No, nah, you're lying, man. I don't, I don't yeah, we you. got on a family plan. I don't believe you. Okay, don't believe me. Tell your story, Jordan. Tell your story about your phone. So oh, Jordan yeah. was inspired so I was like, okay. by Mark and I. We both were like, yeah, we don't use cases. Oh. No cases. So I took my phone out of my case. And, and what do you have? What phone do you have there? An LG? Uh, no, the Samsung S9. Oh, oh, yeah. This is the nice one with the nice curved screen. Yeah. yeah so I like anyway, I was, yeah, working, show the, show the I was working at my new house. And it. what was really funny is Mark told a story about falling an inch. And guess how far it fell? No more than two inches. <laughs> I, it, wait, how did it fall though? Yeah, so tell the story. I was wearing I was wearing these pants. Basketball shorts. Yeah, basketball shorts. They're actually David's. They actually are mine. He anyway. wears them every week just to taunt me. And I squat. <laughs> I'll never so return. So this is karma. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, I squatted down because we're putting the uh, like subflooring in. So I squatted down and it just slid right out, and it just went donk. And I was like, oh no, my phone fell out. And I picked it up, and there's cracks in the corners. Look at that. Right there. It went all the way right down there. the screen. <laughs> on this corner right there. So, and you swore, and then, it, you cursed us, didn't you? Yeah, I flipped it over and I was like, freaking Mark and David. And then. <laughs> Those I liars? Just, yeah. They lied to me. And then. Well, and no, then see, I, if I was I, doing housework. I got home and put it back in my case. If I was it. doing construction, I would have put, I don't put my phone in my pocket. For instance, at Bear Lake, I didn't take it on the beach with me. Mm-hmm. I don't want to mess mm-hmm. with that. Mm-hmm. Instead, mm-hmm. I took my iPad that's in a fully protective waterproof uh, cover. Yeah. When I'm wearing gym shorts like that and I have a phone, you tuck it in. Mm. <laughs> you like, because mm. the pockets swing around, right? Whenever you kneel down, it's habit, I tuck it in. So mm. you're just, I think you were just inexperienced. In you not, were in a little bit of inexperience there. Yeah, I don't think this Sounds is our like fault. No, I really no. think it was user error here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what phone do you have? What brand do you have? Samsung, LG? You're an LG guy, aren't you? Yeah, I'm an LG. LG. Yeah. Maybe yeah. It's I love my phone. Maybe it's that you're using a Samsung. No, no, because no. Sometimes Gorilla Glass just has a bad day. Oh yeah. You just what you got to do is always be thinking: Is my phone gonna drop, and how can I prevent that? I did get lucky. I was I don't remember what I was doing, but my my leg slammed like up against the wall or something, and mm-hmm. I was like, oh no, there goes my phone. I didn't have a case <laughs> on it. Pulled it out. It was good though. It's good to go. Oh no. yeah. Always glass in. Glass in. When yep. you put it. And glass then, in. like, with those shorts, because every pants in. are different. Yeah. Every pair. You got to know your pants. You do. <laughs> You're, it's actually the pockets yeah. that, are, that are important. So those, because, and then if, so if you're sitting, tuck it in or tuck it out. Don't let it sit in the middle. So meaning, like, when I sit down with gym shorts, I push my pocket down like that. Yeah. Mm. So it doesn't Just slide. naturally. I, yeah. I, don't, I do it so often, I don't even think <laughs> about it anymore. So when, of course, I'm wearing pants. So you're going to be getting a new phone now, John? No, because I literally just bought this like a oh, month ago. You don't have insurance or anything? No, because you're always like, I don't want to pay for that crap. And then, <laughs> you know, stuff happens. Yeah, that's funny. I feel bad for you, but uh, don't be stupid next time. <laughs> anyway, so that's what happened. So I'm never listening to you guys again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that's, that's sad. Yeah. That's a sad story. Yeah. But, oh, well, what do you do? DraftKings. Guess what, guys? It's here. The DraftKings League is here. The link to join the league is in announcements. We've got our first competition coming up this weekend. It's a 50-50 competition for this first one, uh, which means there's 20. I think there's. I think we set it for, to 20 for this first one. We'll expand it as more players join. We've got a lot more players. I think we have 26, but only 14 mm-hmm. have actually joined this week's competition. So you join the league, and then you don't have to join every competition. You get to choose... This week I'll join. This week I won't join. In the league, we can have multiple competitions. So we can have like a $500 competition if we want. But we have a $1 entry. Every week we're going to keep it a dollar. So it's it's easy to entry, but also keeps it a little bit fun and competitive. Uh, each week you pick your new team. This week, like I said, it's 50-50, which means the top half, all you got to do is get the top half and you win. I think you win a $1.80. <laughs> Oh, it's a dollar yeah. to get in. You win a dollar eighty. If you get the top half, bottom half doesn't get anything. You lose. You lose your dollar. Huh. So that's how it works. You get uh, you get a cap, and you got to get your pl- pick your players for that week and stay under the cap. So very cool. It's I think it's the new way to do fantasy football. Each week's a new week. You start over, stuff like that. So come join us. Check us out. If you're there, are some states like Hawaii, I know Arizona, that do not allow you to jump into DraftKings. I don't know what to say. 
maybe try a VPN, although I heard a VPN doesn't work, but there's got to be a workaround. So I'm not telling you to break the law, but I'm telling you to break the law. because Well, no, a VPN that, would probably work. That I mean, law's stupid. We VPNed into Russia one time. Wait, what? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we to unlock a beta we that really was only wanted available. To, we really oh, wanted to play yeah, okay. That was only so, available yeah. in Russia, so yeah. we VPN to Russia. I've actually done that before, but I turned my settings to Jap- Japan. Yeah. yeah, to get a game. Yeah, that's what we did to Russia. Basically, what we did. We yeah, had to use it. It was on the computer, so we had to use a VPN. But yeah. yeah it was, we what game it. was that? Arc Age. Way back before. Arc Age before it was out over here. Yeah. It it promised a lot, delivered a little. Yeah, kind of like me when I proposed to my wife. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> uh, Promise a lot, then I don't deliver, unfortunately. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> uh, VPN won't... Fitzy says VPN won't work when I tried because it can't verify your location. At least the one I did didn't work. Well, no, you get one that says you're in Singapore or you're that's in what we did. Russia. Because yeah, there are random Moscow ones that say like unknown, choose. right? Yeah. yeah. You just got to get one that actually has a... Point like a location. A point of location. Yeah, it's very interesting. Anyways, uh, I think those laws are going to be changed soon. I mean, especially once the NFL, op- the NFL is going to open up gambling. They're they're in Vegas now. That's freedom. That's inev- inevitable in any in every sport. I think it's going to happen. Uh, then then you'll be able to do DraftKings. Freedom. Anyways, freedom. Yeah, freedom. Freedom to do what you need. Freedom to lose your money how you yeah. want. If you want to lose your money, lose your money. Yeah. Freedom to become addicted <laughs> to bad habits. Hey. You have hey, that's choices. the story of my life right yeah. there. Yeah. That's, I'm, I'm Anyways, not- come join us. It's going to be a blast. Uh, we also, one more announcement is our community play. We planned pub to do PUBG because when PUBG, PUBG. Uh, Blue Hole, those freaking Blue Holes, announced. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually what I think of every time that logo pops up on the screen. They announced that with the 1.0 patch, you would have custom matches. Only now that 1.0 is out, they have announced, well, that's going to come later. And they're reasoning, we want everyone to enjoy the features. So we're going to re- time release everything. It's like, but the feature I want to enjoy, you're time releasing. No, you blue hole. I, I think <laughs> I think it just wasn't ready. That was, that, was, that was a PR statement. Oh, you, yeah. You think? Yeah, probably. You yeah, think PR it just statement. wasn't ready? Yeah. yeah. So custom That's matches aren't there. He dropped uh, the flash drive on the way yeah. on the bus on Wait, the way to work. Wasn't our community play with good. that in mind? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. we're going to we're going to think what should we do instead? When's the community play? It's, it's the 15th, 15th right? So, so it's does next everybody want to waste $60 in our community and we can all just play Blackout next weekend? No, I don't want If everybody wants to waste $60. I want to play a game that a lot of people have access to. But you could waste sixty dollars. <laughs> I know. I get that. Yeah. We could do that on. Yeah, we could do that any day of the week. We, you can always waste sixty. Well, <laughs> why don't we talk about it internally and then we'll announce it then on? Then we'll Discord. send a memo. Okay, we'll announce it in Discord. So, but uh, we are going to still be doing one. We're, we're going to be delaying. We're going to be doing something. It's not going to be delayed. No, we're going to do it, and then next month, hopefully, we'll be able to do the PUBG custom matches. So, okay. So, if you're listening to this and you want to join us next Saturday. Play games. Yeah, maybe it'll be Master Chief Collection that just Ooh. went games with gold, or not games with gold that just went uh, game, pass. game pass. And I need to get the uh, they upgra- upgraded like everything. Yeah, I want to see what it looks like on my TV. Oh, that's right, that's right. So Master Chief Collection is it? Are we there? Master Chief I've, Collection. I, I like that. Okay, Master Chief Collection. It is. There we go. You just saw the sausage made right there. Death Star Destroyer is actually the one that recommended it. So well done, Death Star Destroyer. We will see you uh, there Later. Saturday noon Eastern to two Eastern. Next Saturday, September fifteenth, our community play. Let me write this down. So and it's games forget. with gold too, right? It's games with, it's games games with gold. Yeah, games. I mean, game, game, game pass. pass. Game, game pass. pass. There's too many game games. Pass. There's too There's many. Too many games with pass. Um, community play. I'm just writing this down. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Last but not least, turn-based strategy. We Wait, have. You, a tr- you had to write that down to remember it. Yeah, because I'm going to put it all over on Xbox. Oh. Yeah, you're the one who does stuff in this group, aren't <laughs> you? <laughs> yeah, turn-based right. strategy club. We got one. There will be a new Discord channel going up. It's not up right now, but it will be going up. By the time you hear this, it might be up, if I remember. Talk a little civilization, maybe. Turn-based strategy this month, Divinity Original Sin 2. That's right. That's it's out. So I've been Full playing released, that. As yeah. have I. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, what did, what did you think? Full release? Jumped in? Oh, yeah. I never logged in to fix that problem. Sorry. Here, I, like, completely forgot. Here's it. Oh, I, it finally worked. Oh, okay. Good. I actually... So I had an issue originally. This is what Jordan's referencing. Yeah. I couldn't load the game. It all, it kept going into the sync, your game saves, and then it wouldn't launch the game. And it would just be frozen on the game save, and it would just keep relaunching the... What would you have to do to fix that? Wait two days. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> They're still plugging it in. Yeah, I, <laughs> it, it was an Xbox Live problem. Oh. Okay. But that's an interesting problem. If that happens, at least let me launch the game. Yeah, because you don't have... To. Oh, yeah, that's true. 
Just it, let me launch the game and let me save it on my own Xbox. And then once there's a resolution that has to happen, I have a game save in the cloud. I have a game save here. Just look at the date stamp. Yeah. And then go. This one's soon. You know, this one's newer. Let's just replace that. Yeah. Why? 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 Why can I not just load the game? I don't know. That was that was a your little frustration. That was a little frustration there. But anyways, Divinity Original Sin Two. What is your? You, did you create a custom character or did you no. go? Did you go lore? I'm afraid to create a custom character okay. at this point. It's just like Dungeons and Dragons. There, it's so deep of a game, and there's so much you don't know that I just wanted a pre-render person that has oh, their own story. And you picked the elf lady. Right, yeah. if I remember, dude, oh, yeah. she has cool abilities. She's smoking hot too. She's smoking hot, cool abilities. She licks your skin and can tell you what like she your eats, future. No, that's the elf. All, all elves are able. So oh, elves okay. in this game have an ability where you can eat flesh. Yeah. Of a person, of a dead person, of a humanoid, of a humanoid, which is you know. Can you do it to other creatures? I mean, you can technically eat whatever you want. Okay, but she, but she can tell you your history or your feelings or yeah, whatever. Yeah, elves in this world can eat flesh and then just a bite. They're not cannibals, although I guess that's technically a cannibal. But then they can re- they get memories of the person that was you ate. Yeah, I let her. Li- I let her lick my arm. You let her lick your arm? Yeah, she licked my arm and told me. Oh, so past. oh yeah, well, I did it because I did a custom. <laughs> I did a custom character. Yeah. I am David Lannister. <laughs> So you did do a custom character. I did a custom, what, what? I did a custom one too. Did you go through like all your attributes and stuff, or did you yep. just like wing uh, it? No, because there's yeah. so much Dude, in there. There's ton. I I definitely did for as far as like my ability uh, talking to animals. Animal I did that one too. Yeah, that's good. That. that really opens up a lot. That really well. There's every person opens up a lot. Yeah. Um, human, soldier. But my class, what, what, so soldier's not my class. Soldier's like my attitude. Like, I take or I'm like, like yes, sir, I, sir, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, soldier, uh, okay, oh, sorry. soldier and jester, soldier, jester combination. So, like, is I'm, that, those are like, yeah, like those are opposite sides. So, so like, do you I dance? Both, like, I don't. So, no, I'm, I, so whenever, whenever dialogue comes up, so you pick your attribute. I'm so conflicted. And then it gives you dialogue. <laughs> I want to fight, but yeah. I also want to make a joke. It gives you dialogue. So I have the choice to just be like, in every choice, I have like, it's like, joke about this or like make fun of someone and then the other one's like serious like pay, pay him homage and bow before him <laughs> type of deal <laughs> like right like and so i can i can choose and it's really cool um uh, my class i went I, it's fight it's a fighter class two-handed sword two-handed ability like i want it i want tank i what i went that's, full, I think that's what full I, human tank. I went like a paladin ish yeah so you did a custom one or is it yeah, or when, when i played, when okay. I played with you yeah, yeah. You gotta yeah. download it and play it. Yeah. Really well, it's hard to Anyways, make spicy. Give me your first impressions. What stands out to you about this game? What do you like about it? Especially being a turn based strategy game. This is our turn based strategy game of the month. Yeah. Uh, I like it. <laughs> I think uh, it's good. Yeah, it's really it's Dungeons good. and Dragons. It's it's as close as of, of a Dungeons and Dragons game I have ever played. It's super deep attributes like you couldn't imagine. I love even how you hold A and you and, and you search the area and then you can just see stuff. And it's it's like, oh, you know. Oh yeah, that's that's a really nice feature. Also, you know, if you press it's either right click or left click, I think it is, you can treat it it's like a mouse and it comes out and you don't have to move your character and you can say talk to this person and then he'll just move over and talk to him like really cool and if you click the joystick it pops everything on the screen like diablo would yeah like rock well does it pop everything or does it just pop because sometimes i notice like it's popping for instance i'm on the island right now and it's popping shells and rocks but i don't notice it That's popping like like sleeping bags actually or? useful stuff <laughs> <laughs> uh, i don't i don't I, I don't know i've always just pressed that to look around yeah what are you, what about the what do you think of the story so far storytelling so a couple of people in chat are asking what this is. We're again we're talking about Divinity Original Divinity 2 Original Sin, right? Yeah, definitive yeah. edition. Def, def, well, did you get the definitive edition or, or is that what we get? That's all you get. That's all you That's get. All you get. Yeah. yeah. So there's so it's the Divinity defin- Original Sin 2 Definitive edition. And if you hit refresh on chat, you'll be able to take a look at the game in the store ah. right now. So ah. it's right up there. You can buy it ah. if you'd like to. Uh and there you go. Okay. So, what was your question again? <laughs> story. What do you think of their, their storytelling? Oh, the voice acting in this is amazing. Dude, so good, right? And everything is voice acted. Who's your favorite? Nice. Who's your favorite character? Mine is the Red Prince. The Red Prince is funny. He's hilarious. We, yeah, yeah, he, he, he asked tried me. to kill him, remember? I know, but I did that for science. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, me to be a slave. Tough. I told him one day. 
one day I would gladly be his he slave. Ma- no, he made me his slave. Oh, really? Yeah, he didn't <laughs> ask me. I tried to choose the the story tree that makes me not be his slave, oh. and then he just ass- he assumed that I was a slave. He, he, was just, like, eh. he just took me. That is hilarious. He's like super arrogant and, <laughs> yeah. and elite. Yeah, he's funny. But I- his fighting ability, too, he has like AOE fire abilities that blow me away. Well, and he's a lizard man, and lizard man can dig stuff. Yeah. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. If you find sand anywhere, use him and he'll dig stuff up for you. Oh my goodness. So every like every a dog. What like a dog. Which you could probably talk to dogs to yeah. do that. Because yeah. you can talk to animals. Oh, uh, there's a cat that's following me right now that I talk to that's a little, a little bit suspicious. A little bit I'd cat. kill it. <laughs> you just kill the cats? I just yeah. kill it. So overall, highly recommend this game. Is it a must buy? Uh must buy for people, not a must buy what Well, do you I think? mean it's di- it, it's different. Well, I mean, it's different if you like different. If you like turn-based strategies, should yeah. you buy this game? If it's you it. like Diablo, I mean, this is it's it's Diablo looking, right? And Diablo it's got, and XCOM, maybe? Diablo, well, yeah, Diablo XCOM is a good way to Diabcom. Diabcom. It's D-com. called Divinity. D-com. Original <laughs> Sin. Yeah. It's it's really fun. My gripe with this is I learned very quickly that you need to save often. Oh, I oh, save all yeah. the time. That's all I do. One time I accidentally killed a man that I wasn't supposed to kill, and I just killed him, on, like literally on accident. And what happened? How did you know you weren't supposed to kill him? Because the lady, this is what happened. You're uh, like, hey, can you go get my husband real quick? No. I uh, talked to this lady, and she can like see the future or something. I don't know. Okay. And she says, heads up. I I'm going to give people. you a hint. <laughs> yeah, you hate those people? Yeah. I'm going to give you a hint. You need that lizard guy over there to finish this mission. I'm like, okay, I'll go talk to the lizard guy. And I go and talk to him, and my character... You killed hates. the Red Prince? No, no. Oh, okay. It was okay. Whoa. No, I didn't. I actually did in another game. Oh. You can kill anybody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Dude, you really can. So, so, so far, like what cat. you're telling me, your story so far, the, the, and keep in mind, what we're talking about right here is l- the literally the tutorial level. Yeah. But so far, your tutorial level experience is completely different than mine. Yeah. So cool. That's yeah. what's so cool about this game. So I go talk to this guy because I, apparently I need him to finish this specific quest, <laughs> and then he says, "Long live such and such clan." And then my option, what my my backstory is, you're against that clan. a feud against that clan, mm. and so I so I was like, because you know how it gives you options, it has her special option uh, for a response that says death to that clan. You know, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna let him know who I am. You know, I'm just just be honest here. And then all of a sudden he goes, them's fighting words, basically them's fighting words. And then we all get, and in a get fight, into a fight, and I killed him. Oh. And do you know how long ago I had saved? <laughs> like at the beginning? Back yeah. at the beginning. Way back. Uh, did you <laughs> check your autosaves? Yeah, there are autosaves. There are autosaves, but they're still pretty far uh, back. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. So, quick save often. That's, yeah. that's what I'm... One of the cool things and one of the reasons that we wanted to set this up for our first turn-based strategy club game <laughs> is that there's dungeons. Like, you can, we can, you can, we can do multiplayer dungeons. Yeah, you can invite each other. There's different modes in that. You can fight each other with your characters. Now, really cool stuff. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think all of your guys' characters can go into one game. I don't know. I've not yet tried or it. I jumped it in to separate... see, like, what the options are, and there's different game modes, uh, and you can place people in different starting oh, okay, positions, okay. and you can do, like, a free-for-all battle. The, way, really the cool. way me and Mark did it during the uh, preview is we created a multiplayer game specifically for us, and then we had our own single player games on the side. Yeah, but our characters would be there when we when we jumped into multiplayer. So we so wait, you that. did a multiplayer because you can do multiplayer campaign. Yeah, yeah. That's, so that's you're what talking we about did. the multiplayer campaign, and then we just we set it to two slots just for me and him, and we can open more slots if we want. Yeah. and create more. Characters so that's cool. If we but what I'm talking about is the dungeon. There's a dungeon game. It's like PvP, basically. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In it. That yeah. looks fantastic. Really excited to jump in. Anyways, if you're interested. Uh, in checking out this game, if you purchase this game, if you want to be a part of the turn-based strategy club, every month, every every month, maybe two months, depending on how it goes, we're going to switch games that we're going to focus on as a community. Just another reason, by the way, to go join Discord. If you haven't joined Discord yet, it's a good time. This is where we do this type of stuff. It's going to be called the Turn-Based Strategy Club. Join it. Mixer or Dix, X1Bros.com. <laughs> Dixer? <laughs> Dixer. <laughs> Mixer, Dixer. Join well, us. Mixer, Dixer. Come join us over on Dixer. <laughs> it's always a good time. Get to know lots of people. It's free. It's free. <laughs> no. Mixer. 
Uh, Wait, Mixer is where people watch us live. Discord is where we want you to come. <laughs> Join well, our chat. X1 Bros. X1 Bros. Dot com. Was, Hit the was a Discord celebrity button. merge their names. <laughs> yes, like uh, Brangelita. <laughs> right. That's, that's exactly, exactly, exactly. Come what join I did us right at there. Dixer. <laughs> yeah. And with that, let's get this show on the road. Jordan, tell us what is happening in the world that is Xbox One this week. Nothing. Nothing. Not a whole There's lot has happened. Literally no news this week. None. What Zero. if what if I just did it come? That would be hilarious. Oh no, I didn't. That wouldn't be a first. <laughs> I I didn't do it. <laughs> just, I didn't do it this week. Uh, no, there's a few big ones, like the Battlefield 5 beta is now alive on the platform of your choice. Yes. All you do is go find it, download it, and play it. Go check it out. I'm curious, uh, to those of you who have had a chance to check it out, what you think of it. I really enjoyed what we played at E3. Very, yep. yeah. very chaotic, very fast, lots of explosions. It does not disappoint. Yeah. In my opinion, it it is true to the Battlefield experience. They just missed the mark on the trailer. They missed that yeah. launch trailer. I, th- I just think that was a mistake. First impressions, man. But the gameplay is what you yeah, expect so far from a Battlefield good. game. And uh, yeah, so check out the beta. It's open to everybody. So nothing, no console or PC has exclusives or anything like that. Just go try it out. Give your feedback and uh, you'll be good to go. Yeah. The next big one is the Forsaken that came out this week and uh, I bought it. Oh, oh I nice. It. I played it. Oh, very nice. And it's good. How okay. so? Uh, let's talk about Forsaken. I want to talk about Forsaken. What now? What did you play? Did you play the? You're playing the campaign. I take it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not too far into the campaign, but I don't did know if Kay, you guys have, did. K die already in your campaign? Well, at the beginning. Oh, okay. Really, so yeah. that's the very yeah, first thing that happens. D- yeah, his last words are uh, really good. Is it? Is it as is it? emotional as it seems in the trailer? What? Yeah, have you seen the trailer? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where he's like, yeah. I'm sorry, this is awkward, but can I borrow your gun? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, and then he was like, any last words? Any and any said, indication? Yes, how his sister was. Oh, that's how, that's how I want to go out. Yeah, have sister? you seen the trailer? Well, your Mark? sister's the yeah. queen. Yeah, his sister's and the queen. Remember, your yeah. sister's cool. Yeah, dude. And hey, you can say what you want about Destiny, but they're doing good with their cutscenes, man. On point. I mean, they basically didn't have cutscenes in the first game, and they're like, okay, we can't make that mistake again. So then they make like the best cutscenes out there. It's good. Yeah, the story's really interesting. Gameplay. It's Destiny gameplay. The so new uh, new light system, level up system. How how is it all working? Is the it worth system, it for you to jump into? The new gun system is super fun. It feels way more customizable because you know you can. It's basically three categories. Well, it's still three categories, right? But you know how you had your primary, secondary, and heavy. Yeah. Now it's kinetic, energy, or kinetic, and then I think your it's kinetic is the is the top slot now. Yeah. And then it's basically not kinetic for secondary. I don't know everything else, and then <laughs> and then. Heavy. heavy yeah so <laughs> what would you call it because it's void solar and uh elemental there you go i guess is yeah, yeah yeah but it's super cool because i have a sniper as my primary and assault as my secondary like it's it's really i feel it feels way more customizable a sword as my heavy because you know swords are cool yeah 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 i I bought the dlc i thought i did for the yeah. sword bow and arrows are now in the game yeah those bow are fun i played those at uh, Dude, but E3. honestly i i played through uh mission or two of the the campaign but then i got stuck on uh the mode we played at e3 gambit, gambit it's really really fun anything different than what we experienced at e3 nope still winning <laughs> as far as game and now different maps because at e3 we only played one map i played that i think it was the same map okay it's the map like you're on a beach. I don't know. I kept jumping be- through the it's portal. It's like a beach and, and beach, beach yeah. with woods. So like the beach on Lots one side wood. and woods on the other side. Yeah. Same map? Yeah. Is I'm there other sure. maps? I don't know. Okay. So what you're saying is you only played one map? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I really wasn't even paying attention to that. I was jumping through that portal every chance I could. So is this... So you always have problems with... DLC versus expansions. Oh, no, is this, this is, a full this expansion? Is a, yeah, this is expansion okay, size. This, good. Is, this is an actual expansion. Very good. I'm excited. It's then. good. It's I good. Like it's fun. The story's fun. The the changes they made with the the weapons, I think, are probably the one of the best changes they made. They added more uh, vault space, which is cool. That's good. So, what about because now you can break down? Feels like they're always adding more vault space. Yeah. Anything that you think that they need to add or t- that you wish that was there? I don't know because I'm not there. all the way through it yet. Yeah. So I, I have, I'm not end game. At all, well, by any Con- means. Connor Riviera wrote in with a statement. Oh, the seasons just, are cool because I didn't really get into that before, yeah. so I was looking more into the seasons. Now you like that they're kind of flushed out more. I know yeah. the community. I know we have the a lot of Destiny people. The clan, a lot, a huge clan. Uh, Black Knights in charge of their MMA. I know is there as well. 
a lot, but jump back into uh, Forsaken. Uh, Black Knight's doing a great job with the clan, but our Connor Riviera writes him, and he says, I complained hardcore about paying $40 for Destiny 2 Forsaken. He says, after playing it for the first time last night, there is easily... Forty dollars worth of content added with the expansion. I, he's super oh, glad that he purchased it. I know a lot of guys at work that purchased it that are just in love with it and back. They're hooked again. You know, mm-hmm. it, it has rehooked them. Mm-hmm. It feels like they've really doubled down and done their due diligence yeah. and put everything. In well, there and even, be put in they there. cleaned up the menu, so you know the milestones on the left hand side. Yeah, those are all essentially. They feel more like. I mean, they were dailies before, but they feel more like dailies now. They're in. They're on the map, not in your left i mean there's still stuff in the left menu yeah. but they're actually on the map now so if you go to pvp it'll show you the game mode and then it'll have a little thing underneath it play such and such to get a boat yeah. you know and stuff so they cleaned up the map the or sorry not the map the the menus it, it's really good yeah yeah that's good that's good to hear because play it. it would have not been good if it wasn't good nathan fillion's in it uh i love me some nathan yeah. fillion that's why when he was like how's your sister you're like yeah <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious yeah. moving on Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> I'll have another. <laughs> uh, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. A few things. Xbox Wire has a little article uh, okay. giving a okay. brief description of each character yes, so in, what, Re- in Red Dead Redemption what in happened, Dutch's gang. Yeah, what happened? Grand Th- or Rockstar released uh, this week pictures these pictures with like a quote from each of the characters really giving you kind of a sense of their personality um my favorite character oh he's on there yeah well, no my favorite character so oh. far of this i think is the indian guy oh really cool he said he says something to the effect of like we've brought hell to people and it'll probably come back to us we deserve it or something like, like that like wise man status dude the artwork is really cool the artwork is cool it's very western rebellion Feel to the artwork. It's John very Marston's Red Dead. In there. Yeah, it's very Red Dead. Exactly. John Marston is in there. Yeah. Yes. Really now, cool. Here's my question to you guys. Do you think it'll ruin the image of John Marston since he's a kind of a young buck in this one? Why? Well, it depends on if he hates sand or not. That's a reference yeah, 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 to yeah, Anakin's, yeah. Well, it's actually Anakin's like, <laughs> Anakin, yeah. like, if they screw up his story, then yeah. If they don't, then you'll probably think he's more of a bad egg. Oh, okay. Fine. So I'm just saying it, it depends on... Yeah. Where they take depends them. on if they screw it up or not. Is what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think I don't think it'll hurt it unless uh, they screw it up. Unless they <laughs> unless they screw it up or not. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. So there's a cool little like David said quote in the next box. Wire has an article of each of them. It's 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 really cool little fun little pregame lore, if you will. You mm-hmm. know, you get a look, get to know your gang. Um, also, <laughs> uh, Rockstar or it's Rockstar Red Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 won't have the GTA character switch that GTA 5 had so you know how like you were in one story and then you'd switch over to Trevor Michael and yeah. uh, Franklin um, so it's not going to have that you are Arthur Morgan the entire time I like that I do like that I do too, too. more I, focus on yeah well, well and Arthur Morgan's a cool it worked like really cool well for Grand Theft Auto it did they did a fabulous job switching well, it around fabulous fabulous I thought it was super o- fabulous I thought it was okay but it would have been nice to have been Trevor the whole time yeah no Trevor or Trevor or, I, I enjoyed Michael Michael had an interesting story Lamar was the weakest Lamar was Franklin's friend yeah Lamar Lamar was funny S- oh, sorry he's the one who had that Franklin was the weakest Comanche yeah, blood in yeah. him or whatever. Yeah. Lamar was yeah, hilarious that was hilarious Franklin I think was the weakest <laughs> then character. he shows up in multiplayer at, at least for me yeah he, he was I just didn't some of his he st- it started out because you start out with him starts out really good but well, like, when, when I think he's he driving was, right and yeah. then he po- and then Michael pops out and the gun behind <laughs> yeah. in the car super interesting but his his story kind of just fades it off fades a off a little bit yeah because it kind of becomes like like at least to me it felt like he was becoming the son that Michael never had but wanted like because they kind of had we're kind of getting that bond together well that fo- you know what i mean well the yeah. surrounding characters around him because his that kids interesting it, yeah. either whereas michael you have his family you have Dude, trevor his, his aunt was relationship hilarious. you have Dude, his son when when trevor, his son was when trevor hilarious. met his aunt for the first time that was so funny <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah because yeah. his aunt well, they'd march and they would do yeah. the power walking <laughs> chant yeah, yeah. gives no. her a dollar yeah. or some five bucks he oh my god so just be happy. I gave <laughs> that whole th- that was really good. But I really think, yeah, I really think his story kind of just phased off a little bit. And I think it's because, I mean, you, you're 
you have Trevor that is so exciting to play as. So interesting. Michael, and it's more of a political thriller, yeah. you know, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, and then... And then Lamar is almost... It's not Lamar, that's the Franklin. Sorry, Franklin. sorry. That's Franklin. Friend. Franklin. Lamar just sticks out to me. I really, yeah. Franklin just kind of... Point. Lamar is interesting, <laughs> Lamar Fra- is. but Franklin is kind of like... He's the, surrounded by giants. Uh, yeah, and he's the good angel on your shoulder almost, right? Like... Yeah, because he was crazy, trying to like man. get out of his. Are you sure we? Yeah. Are you sure we're gonna do this? You know what I mean. Always, which when you have Trevor, who starts, <laughs> whose scene starts out bashing heads in, you're like, whoa. His scene starts out before, that. before that. Yeah, <laughs> but and you're a- like, after that, you're like, oh my gosh, what? Like his scene is so shocking. Yeah, and it just pulls you right in. And he goes to the farmhouse. I love that mission. Uh, when he, with the meth people? Yeah. yeah with the, with the, the Only a grand. So Arthur game, Morgan, right? though, yeah. playing the whole time, you think this is a good decision, Mixed by C? Oh, yeah, I think so. Well, I think you can get more into, like, you had, they split your time between three characters. I think you can dive deeper into the more character development, I yeah. guess, would you say, I, right? I think it's better for immersion for a lot of reasons. Uh, it's easier to write a story like this with one character. One, with one character's perspective, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm, I think it's mm-hmm. I think which means it'll be a better story told overall. I feel so. I don't know. I I like this move. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. I think that I that's, agree with you. I think hey hey we all we agree. agree. <laughs> we all Touché. agree. Yeah, all the um, for all. Player unknowns battlegrounds. We talked about this last week, but it is full launch, and we already talked about it earlier a little bit. It's full launch. Unfortunately, the uh, private matches aren't there. Yeah, but, but uh, it is you full do launch. get the new map. They've been advertising the crap out of it. Yeah, you get the new map. That's super, super fun. Sand hook. Super fun. I mean, it's Sand smaller. Hook. Looks like a good time. Mm-hmm. Sand hook. <laughs> Sand hawk. <laughs> Sand hawk, I think. Mean. Like, what are you laughing at? I'm laughing at your... Do you know how many that's what she said? I know. I could have said. Smaller yeah. and a good time. <laughs> smaller makes it a good time. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, last but not least, uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Rainbow Six, there it is. Grim Sky update is live. You get new operators, new maps. Good. Rainbow Six, man. Dude. They just keep going. It's one of those games that quietly keeps kicking ass. <laughs> like, that's all. That, that's yeah. the best way to put it. That's the story of my life. That's, I mean, yeah. that's, they, they, mix, they spicied it. He quietly <laughs> spicied it. Keeps, keeps kicking ass. <laughs> Q-K-K-A. Quietly yeah. Keeps new operators, new map, bug fixes, lots in the update. Be yeah. sure to check it out. Grim Sky. I wish I was good at this available. game. Yeah, because it w- it could easily become. Do my you normal, remember my, my normal game? Who was playing with me? My regular. When we were playing with our younger brother, uh, and he like threw. Th- oh, that was that was that was that was both of us. Yeah, we were both on that. We're, we're all on he, that. He looked out and he threw the grenade. No, I was up. playing with you. No, no I think we were all on that. I think all three. And all we, of us and we were died. There. That's. I think that's why he was by himself. Because we all three were playing. Oh, no. You know what? It was you two, and you two showed me the clip. Yeah, we That's both what it was. Copied, oh, yeah. Copied that play from different perspectives. Yeah, and it was just like, and he was like, oh. It, it was so good. Yeah, that, when you're good at that, it's when you watch good people at that game, it's entertaining. Yeah. Like, or it's, you play with good people. Yeah. Because you're technically watching them, because yeah. I'm not playing. And you're winning? Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I die all the time. Dude. Yeah. What, a, what a cool game. Yeah, anyway. Rainbow Because I'm on a great. good, can, can we pause it right here? I just want to talk about my gaming forte right now my gaming schedule my gaming platter if you will do you want me to do a dj scratch or something to pause it there There you go go. (laughs) hold up whoa (laughs) um this is what i got going i got madden because we got the madden league and i'm two and two right now and i've i so you're not in the negative i'm streaming my games and when i stream my games it's extra frustrating when you lose because it's embarrassing but the competition in the Madden League is up there. Mm-hmm. But I'm making foolish. Like, I wouldn't have lost my last game. I missed the extra point. I missed the extra point. You know how frustrating that is? That's really frustrating, but isn't it harder? It is harder to do than, the extra point, yeah. yeah. Also, it's harder when you're streaming and everyone's watching you like, Ugh! and then you well, miss and it. I hate You that, usually like, win when we, you're not streaming. We, <laughs> we play on all Madden, and multiplayer defaults to all pro, so it's different. Yeah, but you can set those settings inside um, your league. No, but anyways, oh. that's that's ultimately that's like why it. I'm playing against good. <laughs> I'm playing against good players, and it always comes down to the wire. It comes down to decisions. It's so fun. But so I've got Madden, uh-huh. then Golf Club. I've got Golf Club 2019, which is the PGA, PGA. version. I throw that PGA. in there a couple times a week. I golfed on stream early morning. Why go golfing when you can virtual golf from your couch? So big spicy. This is the game you've got to get into. So fun. We have our golf season 
everyone we have our golf society <laughs> yeah that's that's how i talk when we talk about the, the x1 bros golf society it's an exclusive mm. membership you have to have diversified portfolios <laughs> <laughs> yeah. anyways it's there yeah. we've got our season season one it's up multiple matches uh i shot 25 over in first round Ooh, of one of my ouch <laughs> because because here's why so you can choose like the loft on your ball and then how much your ball spins and I swear, in Golf Club 2, if I wanted a backspin and stuff, I would go underneath, and I wanted to go up, I'd go underneath, I'd, I'd go down on the bar, and if I wanted to go distance and then let it roll, I'd go up on the bar. Mm-hmm. In Golf Club 2019, is that it's, inverted? it's opposite, and maybe I went into settings and switched it, and so I'm like, like okay, I need to take a lot off of this, so I went underneath, like all the way down, mm. and I shoot like 200 yards over the pin. Holy... <laughs> Yeah, it was terrible. It was not a good... And you can't restart on these matches. Like You have to finish it. So That's how they get you. That's how they got me. So then I went and I did some major training, only to realize that I was doing opposite of what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, only to realize I've been doing it then, all this time. Then, when I don't feel like doing sport things, City Skylines. That's yeah. good. I re-downloaded it because of nice. you. You're I really welcome. Did. Very nice. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. I didn't play it. Anyways, look at that. <laughs> that but I re-downloaded <laughs> it. Three three games since my in my rotation. This is the most balanced gaming that I've had in my entire life, and it feels fabulous. Fabulous. It's like waking up and taking a shower every day. It's just refreshing. Mm. Wakes you up, makes you feel good. Yeah. Smell Hy- good. Hygiene. Hygiene. You have mm. good gaming hygiene. I right have now. good gaming hygiene <laughs> right now. My gaming hygiene is on point. Nice hygiene. Before important. I had gaming syphilis, <laughs> just bogged me down. That's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same thing uh, at all. Yeah, it's terrible hygiene. That means no, you have terrible hygiene. Syphilis is an STD. Because from bad hygiene. Because <laughs> is that what it's <laughs> from no, bad I, hygiene? You're obviously not have good hygiene. <laughs> yeah, clearly you've not been taking care of yourself. <laughs> clearly, clearly, <laughs> and that's what I was doing. I wasn't taking care of my gaming rotation. Yeah. Now my gaming rotation, it's healthy. It's balanced. I'm in shape. My game. My my box is in shape. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't get tired. Doesn't after get tired. Uh, so after how's your height? Doesn't crank, crank. You know the breath, out of breath. You're not out of breath. Tested positive for syphilis. How's your hygiene? <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 well, moving on. <laughs> no, no, that's good though. Like, no, this is the most hygiene. balanced. Yeah. So, and the way it's just gonna, it's just going to kind of rotate, like, because fours is coming out the end of this month. That's going to take over one of my things, but but I'll still have this good, nice, ro- nice, healthy relationship with my Xbox mm-hmm. at the moment, with my mm-hmm. games at the moment. Yeah. I'm, this is I the best like, that I've had. The best rotation I've had so if almost you, ever. If there I was think. a gaming color wheel, yeah. you would be dead center. I'm dead center. I'm That's hitting, pretty good. I'm hitting everything I love. Yeah, you're in oh, the green also, credit no, wait, zone. Also, f- there's actually four in my rotation. I've been hitting Divinity Original Sin oh, yeah, a yeah. couple times as well. I've got my I've got my strategy and builder, my simulation. And uh, from what I understand, you've been saving a lot in that game. <laughs> saving a lot. Oh my goodness, yes. you are on point. Dude, it's because my mental state with gaming, it's it's like going to a psychologist and he's like, "You have unhealthy boundaries, okay? And you're working through some stuff." <laughs> and I have finally figured out my daddy issues. Yeah. Mhm. And so now I play the games and I have healthy gaming boundaries mm. that are perfect for me. It's good hygiene. Yeah, it's great <laughs> mental health hygiene, gaming hygiene. My gaming hygiene is perfect. It's on par. You're using soap. I'm <laughs> using in all the right places. Uh, I'm, using, I'm using soap. Yes. Anyways, moving on. Let's move on to the Brushing next story. Your teeth every day. That's it. That's, that's, that's that all, all the stories. Yeah. Whoa, Rainbow Six. There you go. Yeah. Whoa, that <laughs> was. It was a fast news day. Yeah. Right there. Biggest news story of the week, to oh, my Destiny. mind, is the blackout. Yeah, blackout Oof. announcement. Well, we already talked about that before the news. Oh, right? so good. But yeah, so, blackout, so Destiny, and the Battlefield Open beta are kind of yes taking everybody's attention. Yeah. That brings us to the last segment of our show, The Mailbag. Ah. Yes. Wait. Is that this one? It's this one. I mean, I've been doing this how many 200 plus episodes and I don't even know. I the mailbag is where we take uh, your questions. If you'd like to submit a question to the mailbag, head over to Patreon and subscribe to us today and open up access. Submit a question every week. Devout Cannon writes ah. in and says, we are on the cusp of an, ana- an, of an amazing run of big time releases. We have Forza Horizon, Red Dead, Call of Duty, Tomb Raider, Fallout 76, Battlefield 5, the list is glorious and it is long. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> you know what 
one I gotta have on standby more is this one. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We also have other commitments, including work and family. In a perfect scenario, how would you prepare for and spend the day for your most anticipated release? Do you take the day off specifically for that release? Do you shop for and prepare specific game-friendly foods and beverages? Do you notify family that you may be unavailable for the next 24 hours? In short, what does the perfect new release day work for you? We've kind of we've we've answered part of this question before. We've answered the snack question. Jordan's is a Doritos Mountain Dew guy. Well, he's got the what well, is it? The three. five Mountain poses Dew. of gaming. The five poses of gaming. That's yeah. right. The five positions of gaming. The five positions yes. of gaming. That's right. It's Jordan is epic in that. But do you take the day off? Uh, and if so, yeah. what game? Red Dead Redemption might be a day taker offer for me. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Do you notify people? 24 hours in advance. Don't talk Do you to stay me. up all night? What, what I is give your, my what is wife, your strategy here? I give my wife a good two months in advance. Just okay. so you know, October 15th, yeah. for example, mm. or whatever date. When this does game, the This game's come coming out. out, and it's kind of a big deal to me. Because inevitably, she'll choose to forget. <laughs> and you'll have to say, hey, remember? <laughs> I that's, told you. That's when you email her. So you, you oh. have it in your CYA Put it in file. your family calendar yeah. on your phone. Your, your cover your A file. It's a CYA file. I have proof. I email. have proof. See the email I sent two I months also, ago? I've also notarized this document <laughs> yeah. that you signed. <laughs> just so, yeah. No, just, uh, I, th- there are a few games that I do that with, and I think Red Dead's going to be one of those. But yeah, I give my wife a heads up. I've given her a heads up already for, uh, and this is, I mean, we don't even know the release date yet, but uh, but for Cyberpunk, yeah. just heads up. There's another game coming out in sometime in my life. And that's a big deal to me. Yeah. So, so Red Dead, any other games on the list coming up that Battle will Dude, Battlefront be, or not Battlefront will uh, Call of Duty be No, for you? I don't no. think so. I, I will be buying those and I will be playing those, but 76, yeah, I think, Fallout 76 I think, those? See, I no, think see, I'll I, just play that when I get time. Yeah, okay. See. Okay. But I, I but a game like Red Dead, that is a once in a lifetime game. Yeah, that is a game. Well, because I've played the other the first one. Yeah. yeah, and it's just it just changes your life in a good way. Yeah. So I I mean, yeah, that's how I do it. I let people know. Jordan, how about you? Anything, anything that you change up there? Anything? Well, and no. Also, I mean, what I'll, game? First of all, what game out of these is it? Just Red Dead? Or yeah, any probably. Other games well, the next, you know, I, Red Dead Redemption, probably. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? No. I okay. And how do you prepare? I just tell people to leave me alone. <laughs> he, he does. Jordan is. Yeah. yeah. Mark was at my house one but, time when I was trying yeah. to watch a TV <laughs> see, show. Was, the reason it stresses him out is because you don't plan ahead. <laughs> you we. <laughs> I mean, well, that, I that time when I went, I was at your house and we were all, you were there. Mm-hmm. We that's were right. sitting on the couch. You didn't plan ahead. You didn't let people know. Don't no, show up today. You just, had like my a bad, you just had like a bad day. No, it's, that was my routine. I come home. <laughs> I feel home, like that was bad day, Jordan. I got noodles and I was trying to watch. Uh, no, I think you had cinnamon toast. I think I, what was I, was I catching up yeah, on Naruto sure, or something I'm like that? I'm pretty sure it was, no, it was soda. Noodles. It was noodles. I mean soda. It was cereal. Yeah, no, it was cinnamon toast crunch. It was cinnamon toast crunch. pretty sure. But I was trying to watch. It was because there was milk involved. I believe you were in your onesie. Were you in your onesie? I don't know, but I, don't I was onesie. trying to enjoy You don't remember my life, onesie? But he might have been. I just know that we're all in this room. We're talking. We're having fun. We're socializing. Jordan walks in. We're having a healthy relationship. <laughs> we are. We are living a Jordan walks hygienic in like life. the syphilis personality that he is <laughs> walks and in. ruins it for everyone. He walks. So how the room was, uh, there's a TV at this end of the room well, was, and the, like the L, the couch is L around the room. Yeah, so yeah. he wa- he's basically dead center of attention when he does this. Yeah. He walks right into the middle of the room, sits down, basically like that dog on Dalmatians, 101 Dalmatians, yeah. right in front of the TV. And he sits down. He turns on his PlayStation. It was a PlayStation. I believe you were playing a PlayStation game. No, no, I was. I was watching an anime. He was watching. I was an watching anime. An anime. I think it was on the PlayStation though. Just, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. And then he turns around and he goes, "Everyone, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> this is my time." <laughs> This is my time. I worked really hard today, and this is what I'm going to do. That's how Jordan treats <laughs> first day game day lo- launches as well. Yeah. Right there. Was, David moved in, and he shook up my routine, man. <laughs> That's right. You were living yeah, there. Yeah, 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 it was like the second day he moved in. Oh, yeah. Well, I think the first thing that pissed him off is one time he was showering, and I walked in. <laughs> I was like, hey, man, let's let's go play some games. What are you doing? <laughs> See, mine, I would have been like, everyone, reference the email I sent you two months ago. Yeah, see, Mark would have planned ahead for that. Yeah. David, if, if you all David, check your Slack. David and I actually had a setup where he was on one wall and I was on the other playing games. That was when The Witcher came out. That remember? was when yeah. The Witcher came out. And Jordan yeah. hit, that was a dark time for Jordan. 
He dived. <laughs> he dived into the, the world that is Witcher lore, yeah. and was affected by it in a very <laughs> negative way. Uh, yeah. No, I just tell people that I'm doing this. Leave me alone. Dude, I, I, I appreciate that. Uh, I think straightforward sometimes yeah. is the best uh, philosophy to take with yeah. people. Well, that's really and what you should record. be doing with other people in your life, Jordan. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> straightforward this. Leave me alone. <laughs> I, I'm doing this. I'm doing it this way. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> for, uh, thank you very much, Devout Cannon, uh, for that question. Uh, good, Great question. This is a huge time of year, by the way. Is it your sister's birthday? Out. Blowing my mind. Today? Uh, my sister, yeah. Oh. Sister's. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's my calendar. Let me know that it's your sister's birthday. Well, wait well <laughs> apparently it's only one of my sisters. You know, you forgot the other one. I have twin sisters. Everybody. Yeah, it is. Way to derail the conversation, <laughs> Jordan. Just your Did calendar. it, like, seriously just pop up? Yeah. Well, maybe yeah. I should give her a call. <laughs> <laughs> free Radical writes in and uh, I'll, says... I'll text both of them. Here's what Free Radical <laughs> says. The, the last two games I bought, I did so because I watched people stream it. McSpicy, you've talked about this a little bit before. Apparently, I, I'm not going to text her. Yeah, let's start with you. The last two games <laughs> I bought, I did so because I watched people stream it. They were having fun, so I bought it. Any thoughts on this form of marketing? Yeah. I, th- I, pr- I think this is this has taken over the reviews. And McSpicy has talked about this. Instead of reviews, this is what he watches. But McSpicy, how effective of a marketing tool do you think this is? For years. This is how, this is what, how I have looked and have found games for years and years and years. Yeah. I think it's the future as soon as people find out that people are just playing it. Yeah? No, I was just pointing in agree. <laughs> That's an agreement. That, oh. that was an agreeing point. <laughs> Okay. With his thumb. Yes. Anytime he points with his thumb. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's the <laughs> agree. That's <laughs> <laughs> you just come, I, I don't even know what I was talking. What was the question? Streaming no, marketing. Yeah. No, uh, as Twitch and as Mixer and as th- those platforms get larger and larger, you're going to see more and more uh, people use this method uh, over any other method because what it, it's a true experience of the game. You're not looking at a fabricated trailer. You're not looking at a a review where someone's bias plays into it. You're watching in real time as someone plays, and and it and gives you, you the opportunity to see. He said something. I don't know if that's correct. That looked really cool to me, or you know what I mean. Yeah. No, and that's I. I can't even tell you how many games. Hotline Miami, one mm. of my favorite games of mm. all time, one and two. I watched a streamer play that, and I wanted that game in my life. Mm. Uh, it was a. It, I mean, it's a very difficult game, but that's how I got that game. There are countless games that that uh, Hearthstone. Yeah. I got that because I watched people play it. Interesting. Uh, that's pretty much how I get most of my games that aren't like Red Dead or Triple, yeah. like huge games. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's where I get any well, information well, on whether I want to buy it or not. I see a real person playing it, and I see real joy in how they're interacting. And it makes me go, I want to have that fun, too. Yeah. Viper in chat says they got rid of game demos. Streaming is the best. Just sucks that uh, pre-order stuff's the way it is. So, I mean, they got rid of game demos, and now streaming is the new game demo. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Basically, that's a great point, Viper. Um, I Developers realize this. Game developers realize this. Uh, case in point, Mixer always has promotions. If you're partnered with them, yeah. you can say, hey, they'll say, hey, we have these games that game developers want to give to partners to stream. Would you like to stream this game? And you can all and you can say yes or no. And there's a lot of game choices that you got, so it's worth it for a game. I'll give you an example: Graveyard Keeper. How many people purchased Graveyard Keeper from you streaming it? Quite a quite a few. How many? Or, or it's on Game Pass, but how many yeah. people downloaded it because you and others were streaming streaming this yeah. game? Yeah. Qu- quite a bit. That's a game that otherwise would not have been discovered, um, or it would have been very hard to be discovered. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's the new game developers know it. It's the future. I don't think the, that genie's out of the bottle, and I think it'll only multiply exponential from here. Well, yeah, and I think also this is a more effective tool to see a good game over a bad game. Yeah, because it's not a lie. You, if it's a good game, I mean the cream is going to rise to the top. If it's a good game, you can see them liking it. That's why yeah. I like this way so much better than. All the other games, however I did it before, yeah. you, you see the joy and you go... Demo disc. Yeah, the demo, demo disc. Demo but you go, okay. Because I can't even tell you how many games before I was watching streams, Brink, that I thought it was going to be an amazing game. I played it and I just lost $60. Yeah, or watching like a review or something, right? Yeah. Or, yeah. or a trailer, a gameplay trailer. I that's really see Ill- them. Yeah, I see them playing it. 
I see them play, and I, I, I have to have that. Uh, Diesel72 in chat says, Vermintide was one that X1 put me onto from stream. That's a great example. And That's actually, funny, I got Vermintide because I watched someone stream it. I streamed it. You can tell when someone's having fun. Like, you can't hide fun. Yeah. It, it's not an effort. You're enjoying the game. And then other people are, are able to jump into it. Yeah, streaming for advertising is the way to go. Yeah. Yeah, and I like it way more than any other forum or any other method because there are so many, so many. The internet is a funny place. It is hilarious. There's a game can be really good, but if they say have a the, their launch week, they put in some battle packs that's you know was kind of manipulative and you know I'm, I'm case in point I'm referencing Star Wars yeah, Battlefront Two. Uh, now all the reviews on that game are all they are all they're just they hate this game because it had uh, unlockables through a paywall. Yeah, which was I mean it's a bad idea. EA, you know that was which was removed before launch. It was removed before so launch. I don't think so it should have been reviewed yeah. as so such. What I'm saying is that game was fun yeah. and it looked great and I enjoyed the campaign. Yeah. I if I would have paid attention to the YouTube comments, for example, which I don't think I, I don't go there for reviews sure. or anything. I actually don't go for reviews anywhere. Yeah. But if you were to just look at the Reddit threads, if you were to just look at that and just see people's reactions, you would never get that game. Yeah. But you watch people play it and people are enjoying it. Right. So yeah. I think this is. Well, one one thing that it unmasks to. I mean, first of all, it's raw. It's raw. Emotion. Live game footage, right? Yeah. And it's real time emotion, real time reaction to the game that you get to see without having someone to sit and think. Because when you're doing a review, you're trying uh, to, to critique it. And when you're critiquing anything, you are sitting thinking, okay, what did I not like about this game? And sometimes in a review, how, there's tons of reviews like this. Someone negative, 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 like I'm critical about this point, this point, this point, this point, it's a nine. Like nine out of ten, and it's like, well, wait a minute, you just yeah. But, but it's because sometimes you don't balance it well, and your your negativity, your critique comes off more harsh than it actually is. You don't focus on the fun gameplay in streaming. It's only fun, it's all fun all the time. Like it's either fun or it's not, and that comes across really well. A prime example, expectations is something too that plays huge into this. A uh, prime example of that, I think, is Destiny. Mm -hmm. Remember the Destiny reviews? Poor because it, this isn't what they promised, and then it's the number one played game. For a long for, time. for the first you year almost and a half of the, the Xbox, now. yeah, until now, yeah. right? Like it, it dominates. It's got a big following, even it though dominates it was, yeah. the market, right? And 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 yet the, the reviews weren't the greatest because of expectations. Yeah, and so yeah, streaming streaming is accurate. It's it's just superior in every way. Yeah, well, and you, it's so easy to find a game you're curious about. This uh, is in, true. In any platform you go to that streams games, it's you just search for the game. Yeah. I want to like for right now. I want. I mean, I. I'm, after the show, I'm going to be playing Spider-Man. Right. Jordan, are you going to... Yeah. You know, yeah. I cannot play it. I don't own said console. Oh, that's right. <sighs> You're a purist. I'm a or a pleb. <laughs> I'm a pleb. I believe the ter term is pleb. What's pleb? pleb? It's like a peasant in the old days. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they mention that a lot. Uh, Henry mentions plebs a Henry. lot. Henry. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Henry. Is Henry a pleb? Henry. Oh, yeah. Henry's yeah, he definitely, definitely a pleb. He's a, definitely pleb. a pleb. Uh, no, but... Uh, yeah, it's it's so easy to find the data that is pure, not rehashed into yeah. critiques or reviews or bad people that stub their toe that day and they're just they just need to take it out on something other than their mother-in-law, you know? They yeah. just got to take it out on something bit hard, right? So yeah. Great question. <laughs> Free radical. Uh. Great question. Thank you for writing in. This next one is for Jordan. This next one comes from Happy Mayo. He says, the "Jordan, Mayo. If you had to rank this Warcraft expansion against the others, where does it fall? He says, I ask this because I'm a recovering Azerothian. Oh, he good. says, uh, I've been clear for one year, one month, and I've been getting the <laughs> urge to start it back up. If I can hold off, this would be the first one I missed since vanilla. Where would you rank this Warcraft expansion against the other? Um, and where does it fail? Critique um, it. <laughs> critique it. <laughs> Uh, I mean, he's an addict. So remember, the answer you give. Well, it's really, it's really we'll hard determine to whether he gets determine divorced or whether not. he falls off the wagon. <laughs> whether he gets divorced. Whether the hi gaming hygiene just Honestly, goes I would on. Encourage, <laughs> I would encourage you to play it because I mean, okay. you don't want to miss out on an expansion. Not in the not yeah. not as a former as. Like, can you imagine? So my my favorite my, my number one expansion is Wrath of the Lich King. Okay. 
Dude, if I missed out on the Wrathgate, I'd be okay, okay. pissed. So that's your favorite one. Where does this this one right come okay. in next to it? So number one would be Wrath Lich. So I rank them by experience, right? Like the experience I have as, as during them. Yes. Because a lot of people might disagree with me on this one, but I'd rank. I'd probably rank. I'd probably go this one. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, it's a tough question. Rank it for me, here, because it. there's so much in one expansion. I mean, it's two years of your life. Yeah, well, where does so Wrath of the Lich King though is your favorite? Yeah, right. Because I think, of the yeah, experience. To this day, that Wrath was there. of the Lich King is one of my favorite favorites. I thought Legion did a good job. Okay, so. So compared to that one, your favorite, where does it fall in line? Is it anywhere near your favorite? Is What's your least close? favorite? Warlords of Draenor. Okay. okay. And how, now so where now does we it have like? the spectrum. Now yeah. we have the spectrum. We have the red side Dra- and the green side. Warlords, <laughs> Wrath. Yeah. Where is this it's probably expansion? It's probably kind of right right in the middle, maybe. Yellow. Oh, it's yeah. yellow. It's but okay, so I like this one. <laughs> yellow. <laughs> okay. Because red, yellow, I, green. In my personal opinion, I like Battle for Azeroth. As of right now, I like it better than Legion, which was the previous one. Mm. And I really liked that one. That one, I thought that one did a good job of bringing bringing us back. Okay, from Warlords. Which Very cool. I didn't like it. So, all. do you recommend he jump back in? Yeah, as I think a this is a good one to jump back in. It, it's just hard to rank them because, like, Burning Crusade and Cataclysm always kind of jump back and forth for me. Okay, where does this one go wrong? Like, what don't you like in this one? Just give me one thing. Okay, so there's this new mode called Warfronts. Okay. And basically what it is is they kind of take some of the real-time strategy routes. Like you you gather resources, you build certain bases, and then you go attack the enemy mm. commander. I thought it would be really cool. So it's it's a it's, – because it's the Horde versus the Alliance. They're really flushing out the faction wars, right? Yeah. So I thought it would be super cool if they added like actual PvP to that because it's all PvE. You're with 40 other people or 20, 30, 9 other people or something like that or 19. Anyway, you're with a big group of people, right? It's like a raid size group. But it's all against PvE. I, I, I kind of wish that my only wish for it is I wish it was more like like have that PvE. So, kind of like, uh, oh, what's that map? Altrek Valley? Okay. Yeah, kind of like that one where it's a little PvE, PvP, little little Goodness, mix up there. Yeah, yeah so anyway, I, I, that's one that just came out on Tuesday with, with and what the latest do, okay, patch. Okay, and what do they nail? They, I haven't played through the Horde zones yet, but the Alliance zones, I thought they did a fantastic job on Very good. And the story. Because what's cool about this one is, let me tell you, let okay, me tell you tell me. is usually when you a new expansion comes out, you, you level up your main character or whatever main character you want to play for that expansion. And then generally, you know, you'll, you'll go level up your Horde character. So then you have one on each side, you know what I mean? But uh, the nice part about this is the the alliance and the horde take place on two different continents, with three zones each. So my alliance character is gonna have a completely different campaign than my horde character. So it's actually like I'm excited to level my horde character because I'm not gonna be going through just the same stuff I did before. It's actually gonna be a whole different story. Okay. So I that that part I think is one of the best features they have because before you'd level a character yeah you can level zones out of order or whatever order you want but it's still the same story yeah whereas this one you know you you, you have a different faction story which is really cool that is that yeah. is cool very cool well there you go happy mayo there's Jordan's take on it I would get it if he becomes re-addicted to the game mm-hmm. it's your fault please yeah. write us and let us know happy mayo uh, how this goes for you if you take if you jump back in or if you don't Next question comes from Jess Corral. This is a two-part question. Part of it's oh, yeah. going to be for Jordan. Oh. Uh, this first part is probably going to be for Spicy. Oh. Uh, he, he needs some advice. Uh, Jesse Corral okay. says, I've been having trouble with me and a friend trying to play Call of Duty on the same internet in the same house. Is this a common issue? We've been trying to find a solution for a while now. Yeah, it's what comes What comes to uh, mind? Help Jesse out. I think everybody has ran into this that want to do, uh, especially in the 360 days, the Xbox 360 mm. days. Uh, when you run two Xboxes on the same house, you you can't like trying to get the internet. You, you kind of run into an issue. Um, I would uh, if you want to remove a lot of the problems. VPN. What's that? VPN. <laughs> the answer to everything. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> if you want to remove a lot of the problems, first of all, I don't know what your setup is, but don't go wireless. If you can, go wired. Mm. Uh, wireless adds a lot of latency. Latency problems, well, restrictions. Even, yeah, and there's there there's been times firewalls. That, well, there's been times where I should have an open NAT, and I do when I have the exact same settings on wired, uh, as opposed to when I'm wireless, I don't. So and there's 
it just gets complicated. So if you can go wired, go wired. And what NAT means is uh, it NAT. If you go into your Xbox settings, there's a couple different. You can see you can see open, moderate, and strict. Um, strict is probably where you guys are at if you're having problems connecting with each other. That's bad. Yeah. So if you're on the same network, uh, it's the way. And there's only two of you. There is a way to get around that that I've done in the past uh, and uh, use at your own discretion. There are, you can port forward um, and you can research your router that you have and just Google search port forwarding for Xbox Live and it'll show you. Basically, you give your your Xbox an IP address, as a, its own IP address, which is a static IP address. And then you say... I'm opening the doors, the ports, to Xbox Live to this box. So you're basically opening this door, opening no this door, opening this door. And then it's just they, the internet can walk on in, walk on in. Xbox Live can walk on in, right? That Do that for Xbox A. For Xbox B, there's a thing called DMZ. And that is, I believe it stands mm. for demilitarized zone. I don't know. Well, I, yeah, I think it's a Klingon yeah. term. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what so, that means is that instead of opening doors to the internet, you're going to take a hammer and smash the wall <laughs> out from your window. And so you have that access. You never really want to do that with a computer because... Ever. Ever. Because yeah, you're open up to the not, yeah. entire internet. To, it's not filtered through an Xbox Live platform. You, yeah, you can... You're letting it in. You're just... You're, you're basically <laughs> going to the red light zone, <laughs> with the red light district with no protection. It's like parking <laughs> in a bad part of town. A bunch of people are loitering on the sidewalk, and you throw your keys in your car, leave the doors unlocked, and say, Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's just bad. Don't do that with your computer. The interesting thing, though, why it's a little bit safer with an Xbox is an Xbox OS is... It's... I mean, granted, you're doing this at your own, yeah. you know, just research what DMZ is. But the uh, Microsoft OS or the Xbox OS is slightly different than a Windows. Yeah. That's not you, you, not to mention Xbox Live will protect their own assets behind you. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, so, so they can ruin your box, but they're not. Basically, into you're smashing the wall open, but it's <laughs> no one else can kind of see it. I guess it's security by obscurity because it's <laughs> a different OS. It's not Windows. It's not Mac or whatever. It's an Xbox, so pe- the the bad guys aren't looking for that specifically, right? And and they really, yeah. So keep that in mind. Look up DMZ, but do one Xbox port forwarding, one Xbox DMZ, and that should wired, and that should fix all your problems. Both if, wired. Both, both wired. wired yeah. yeah, that just, should do it. If just, there's more people, then it gets a little bit yeah, more complicated. Just you, just YouTube it, uh, Jesse Corral. <laughs> it, you'll be able to find it. It'll be a good time. Just YouTube it. Yeah. Just YouTube. Everything well, Mark YouTube, said. You, yeah. well, no, no, no. Just YouTube. Uh, just, just, just <laughs> well, no, no. Just YouTube the terms Mark talked about. Red about light district. Opening your phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't go 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 into uh, incognito mode. When yeah. uh, anyways, great question. Hope that helps out. Let us know, Jesse Corral, if any of that helped out. Next question. This is a two part question. Remember. Jordan, he says. Yes. What do you think of Henry Cavill being Cavill? cast? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he was British, by the way, which pisses yeah, me off that yeah. he played Superman. But it really <laughs> why, doesn't. Why does that piss no, you it off? No, it doesn't really piss me off. But the other day, so we were we were with my family, my fa- my in laws, and they're really his chest man. They're really yeah. that's, that and plus exactly. he doesn't talk a lot. No, they're really into. <laughs> he basically just looks good and flies so around. So they're they're the type that like know every actor in every movie, right? And they were like. We were just going over how many British actors there. The British are taking over, man. They're taking. No, them. they've already. They've always done well at acting. Always. They, I, I mean, mean it's just their even, even I mean, Picard. I mean, freaking Bill Shakespeare, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. They've yeah. always Bill. nailed out. Bill. Uh, but what we have had is production. Oh yeah. We've had production. They've had acting. That's. The, I mean, we're allies. So, so yeah. if we team up, so we team up. We, we team up. We're like Wonder Woman. Yeah. If we team up, then you get, you know. She's Israeli. Really yeah. good movies. When they take everything, <laughs> then you get Harry Potter. <laughs> and that those movies are terrible. <laughs> so we got to have balance. Yeah. Well, no, no, it didn't. No, the first two were good because you had Chris Columbus. No, I hated he, the first two. No, no, no. The first two were the only For ones Harry that were Potter, like somewhat I liked accurate to number the book. four. Oh, and I like the first half of number goodness. seven. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Number four? Yeah. 
number four. Number four, where Voldemort is first introduced. Uh, so good. So you're saying because, because number four saying, was darker. What you And say? they treated no. it serious. Whereas no, number one and number no. two, I feel like I was watching Sesame no, Street. No, no, let me tell you Harry something. Potter, no, Harry let, Potter edition. Let me tell you something. Well, that's how no, the books were. Number one and two. I've, no, I'm, they were. Yes, they were. They were serious. They were children's novels. Harry Potter was beat by his family and left abused under the the staircase. It's it hardly a child beat. children's book. Dudley beat him up. It no. was brotherly it beat. It was implied that he was beat. Uh, it was emotional abuse. Yes. Well, that, you know, whatever. Thank you. Yeah, that's a real thing. No, no, Look no. it up. No, I'm actually, I'm on book, The Deathly Hallows. I don't know what number that is, no. but I'm listening to it, and I'm, I'm getting through it. It's no. really, so I'm, I'm, very, I'm, I'm coming fresh off the books here. Let me tell you what no, you... Let me tell you, no, no, no. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Number four sucks. <laughs> no, no. Why? But like, okay, the last, the last like, ten minutes, nah, when they interviewed, well, that's cool. Uh, they, mm-hmm. they, because they, I, I think they read that chapter, and they actually put it in the, mm. in the movie. Okay. The rest of the movie was, yeah, it was lame. Okay, your arguments are wrong for a couple reasons. Oh, okay. Number one. And <laughs> the new Dumbledore. I'm not a fan. Okay, I will give you that. Yeah. The old Dumbledore, I think, was He was more of a Dumbledore. superior. Yeah. But number well, four, well, the, entire, the entire feeling of number four was the best, the best feeling up to that point because all of a sudden... Well, it's the previous. All I of mean, a sudden, it became an adult story. And the, secret, the big secret about Harry Potter is it's an adult book. Like, I mean, it's... Well, it's, the later ones... No, you the, can tell the first two they were they were geared towards it's like Avatar no it's like Avatar the Last Airbender season one it was uh, like target demographic you know you know you know fifteen to eighteen you know, you know right and then they realized how many people were watching and they're like oh wow you know our yeah. demographics bigger no right? I think and you're wrong there too no but number four was the beginning of the best Harry Potter how did we get on this what we were talking about oh Henry Cavill what do you think of him playing. I think he can do anything. I like that guy. Playing, I mean, Geralt. He saves the, the world this, as Superman. Is this Showtime he, doing the? He fights series? against Ethan Hunt, or is it Netflix? I think it's Netflix. It's Netflix doing the Witcher series. You you like him as Geralt? Uh, yeah, yeah, I like him as anything. I mean, how many people can be Superman and then fight Ethan Hunt? Not very many. Yeah. This is true. Mm-hmm. This is true. Mm-hmm. And have a killer mustache. Oh, dude, he does have a powerful I think, mustache. I think it rivals George Clooney's mustache. Oh. I think it's almost better than his. Well, I, George Clooney, the only thing I remember him for is nipples. <laughs> he has bat nipples and his bat credit card. They were epic. I mean, he is <laughs> epic. He is epic. But the thing is, Dark Knight nipples. Dude, Henry Cavill, <laughs> super nipples. Super, super nip. Yeah. Big Spicy, you've remained silent. Geralt. Well, because my Cavill. opinion's right, and I don't even have to argue. <laughs> hey, uh, Henry Cavill, Geralt uh, Riviera. How, I th- how do you think he'll do? I think he'd do fine. Yeah. I think he'd be great. Dude, I'm so excited for I don't the ca- I, I'm actually. Why I brought up the whole Harry Potter thing is because I really am not a fan of their movies, but their books are good. Yeah. And when you have... Yeah. Anyways. No, uh, I think British actors are fine. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I just, I just did, I did not realize until they were going through it. Everyone is British. Oh, you don't call oh no, Carol everybody Irish. is. Yeah, everyone. Even Spider Man is. Yes, yeah, I didn't know Spider Man was. Yeah. That blew my mind. Well, do you know what's so great? That's how good they are. Oh yeah. I mean, you can't tell accents. And they're they're so good. I will say. So oh, okay, anarchy. No. The Sons one that I'm anarchy against is British. No, the one that I'm against is the CIA agent. Yeah, he he. I really like him as an actor. Yeah. Uh, but he really can't we're do. We're talking English about. Accent. The CIA a, the American accent. Yeah, he cannot do an American accent. The CIA agent in Black is, Panther or Avengers. Is yeah. he the CIA agent in Avengers? He is. Or is Black Panther? It's Avengers. Yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, I'm rewatching everything and so, I just watched that one. He is Sherlock Holmes' assistant. Oh, yeah, the Hobbit. He's, he's the yeah. Hobbit. Yeah. He's a great actor. But he can't do an American he, he accent. He can't do an American. And especially. Uh, his, his, I know I'm an American. The way his persona, he's not like a douchebag CIA guy. That you need, like, I feel like that he was trying to be. Hey, man. Not all CIA people are douchebags. No, no, but I, that, <laughs> like, it just, it came off disingenuous. Yeah. Don't you agree? How dare you assume sorry, that everyone is a... Yeah, have you not watched Jack Ryan? He's a nice guy. Where is, where is, where yeah. is, what's his, what's his face? Buttercup? I don't even know his name. The shake, the... Uh, Buttercup? What's from his, Princess Bride? No, what's his name? His, that guy's amazing, by the way. His name, his name that plays Doctor Strange. Oh, I always call oh, him Cumberbutt. Cumber, cum- Cumberbatch, right? Cumberbatch, I always yeah. call him Cumberbutt, but yeah, okay, Buttercup. Yeah, he is a good American. Bernard American. Cumberbutt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, he did a good job as. Uh, well, because he's, American. I think, I think he's one of the best actors we have Dude, alive he's, today. He's solid. Dude, he did solid good as guy. Khan as well. I think. Yeah. He did if good you as Khan. have never seen the P, is it the P? No, it's the BBC Sherlock. He is outstanding in it. He's classic. Yeah. Oh, I love that guy, and he's a, yeah, he's a great Khan. You don't like him, 
as Khan? Don't or did no, you? No, like, I liked him as Khan. Uh, he's yeah, in good. the in the in the glass prison when yeah, he like, tells his story, so and you're just good. like, oh. I know, and he starts crying. Just so, talking. is there any American anger that goes over and does a great British accent? Oh yeah, all of them. I can't tell. It. I can't tell. Mm. I can't because I don't know the British accent well enough to yeah, know if they're true. doing it well. Like an American accent when he's like. Yes, I'm doing great. I want some candy. <laughs> you're like, no one talks like that, dude. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. But like Spider Man, you can't tell. You can't, Spider Man, you can't Bernard tell. Doctor Com- Strange, you can't tell. Doc- you cannot tell. They're so good. Yeah. Loki, I believe, is is Loki yeah. British. Loki's British as well. Yeah, I think he dated Taylor Swift for a little while too. Did he? Yeah. How little, dare he take our women? Freaking bastard. <laughs> Those takes are our movies. He, he takes thinks, our women. He thinks he just come over here <laughs> and take our blondes. <laughs> and t- he takes our <laughs> take Taylor Swift away from us. <laughs> Oh, it's Revolutionary War 2, yeah. 2.0, baby. Here we go. I'm glad he was in jail. In Thor. In Thor. Yeah. yeah. Not in real life. In real life, he's actually a really nice guy. I hope he dies in the next movie. <laughs> what? Again. <laughs> Again. I hope Thanos snaps twice. I hope Thanos kills him. <laughs> Thanos, American, uh, killed him. It's He's actually a... Uh, <laughs> Uh, he's from Titan. I don't know. Has America <laughs> claimed that planet yet? I believe we have. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, oh my gosh. Great question, Jesse Crow. He also says, love the podcast and the community. Thank you very much, Jesse. Great questions. Uh, last but not least, comes from the one and only friend Fenrir. What was the question? I don't even remember. Uh, uh, Henry Cavill. Uh, yeah. Geralt. What do we think? What are our thoughts? Oh, that's awesome. I think yeah. he's yeah. going to do great. As yeah. long as I, yeah. he has a mustache. Have you seen his chest? Because. <laughs> Jordan, I get yeah. on the chest. No. Oh, Woof. Woof. <laughs> this guy's massive. He's a, he is a big boy. Yeah. A, and I. He's the Pamela Anderson for men. If, <laughs> yeah. He's the Pamela Anderson. No, let's just say that he, they didn't. They didn't need to worry about shrinking the S on him. No, no, they didn't. And remember the old Superman? Yeah. They had to shrink the <laughs> S. <laughs> shrink the S. <laughs> that conversation <laughs> didn't come up on this one. <laughs> no, S, no S shrinkage there. <laughs> uh, oh also, uh, the old uh, Superman, not Christopher Reeves, but the one before Henry Kivill, the middle Superman. He, okay. he plays World of Warcraft. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah but they cool. did have to shrink the We should invite him on the show. Yeah, we should. He's, a, he's actually a very nice guy. Okay, maybe we will. We'll yeah. send out a, a flotation yeah. invitation. I think he's an arrow. A uh, mm. couple episodes. Who's okay. this? Yeah. Okay, I'm out uh, of the conversation. The, the middle Superman. So not the original Superman, not Henry Cavill, the middle one. The one who took like five years off and then came back in the movies like, I've been gone yeah, for five uh, years. Yeah, Kevin Spacey. Kevin. Yeah, it's, well, Kevin Spacey he, he was, was a bad guy. He was in it. He was in it. He oh, was, yeah, yeah. Was, okay. <laughs> we don't know his name. <laughs> I'm Kevin Spacey. Brandon <laughs> Roth. You, bro, you made my brain go crazy. <laughs> no, no. I, it's Chris something. No, he was. Uh, he's in he, the Arrow. He was number. He's, in, he's on the CW. I believe he was number four on Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, he was the he was the vegan. Okay, last but not least, <laughs> he's actually a nice guy. He's he's a super cool actor. I he's like a him. Super he's, he's cool actor. But oh, they did, they yeah. didn't have to but shrink. They did, they they did, did have to yeah. shrink the. Henry Cavill. They had to expand it. <laughs> Expanded his ass. He got enlarged. Fred <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> writes in and says, "I posed this question in Discord a few days back." When a game, this could be for movies, books, it shows too, but when a game is announced and it has its hooks in you, how do you go about following it? Some consume all they can regarding the title while others get enough to get them excited and then go dark on it. He says this is, this is his preferred style of learning about games when, uh, when they're launched. As members of the media now, has that changed for you? Are games hyped too much? So a couple questions here. Let's go number one. Let's answer the first question. When a game trailer is released and you're like, whoa. I think I want that game. Do you dive in or do you go dark? Mr. McSpicy. Uh, I go dark. Mm. I go dark hard. Mm. I hardly go. No. <laughs> I, 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 it's interesting. I think we have really good personalities on this show that do different things. Uh, you'll find that I'm real. You'll find that I'm the moron of the show. <laughs> you really will. Cause I don't know a lot about certain games because I specifically turn off the media and turn off reviews, turn off everything about a game that I am excited about. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I sound like an idiot on the show most of the time because I am in the dark and I like to be in the dark. And that's hard to do with a sh- when we with do a the- podcast that you're hosting every week, yeah. Yeah. But I can rely on these guys for being smarter than me. We're like, like- your crutch. Yeah. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Jordan, do when you see a trailer that you like, you hear game announcement. What is your style? You go, you go dark. You dive all in. No, you just no, watch the I, trailers. Well, I even you? watch like the first because like, they like with Halo. You know, a game I'm excited about. I'll, I'll, I'll watch like the first four or five levels before yeah. I even get to play it. You know, 
You're you're a dive I like all the in. Excitement. Yeah. yeah. You dive in, you learn about the lore, everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. I'm uh mm-hmm. I'm a I watch the really nice polished trailers. Nice. That's it. I don't dive in as much as Jordan, but I don't go dark like spicy. So I'm a nice little middle ground. Yeah, see, I think there. that works really well for all of us. Yeah. I think. Because yeah. when we get stuff, I even when we do the news, well, fun fact behind the scenes, uh, we use software to get our news and the last three months my software wasn't working for the news so you were out of the broken. news loop yeah but you're back now i i knew they fixed me last week <laughs> they fixed me up so now i now i can talk about the news but every show up until then i've been clueless and so i've been like what do you think mark and you're like I'm... oh what are we talking about what's the question so next question uh are the are games hyped too much do you think um no uh, so, uh, <laughs> well, so I think the I think the correct answer here is it depends. I think good games good game? can't be hyped enough. Like Red Dead Redemption, is bad that... games require hype, <laughs> and then it's you're pissed the off. Scenario yeah. again, you yeah. have your small. They're required then hype then to sell it, and then other games that go that go with no hype really are. I think some slip through the cracks. Honestly, good solid I games. I call some them crackers. Slip through the cracks. Uh, some of those are <laughs> some. <laughs> Some of those, oh so some of those that would go through the cracks are discovered via. <laughs> what do you call? Them? <laughs> you guys are like turning by red here. Whoa. Oh, no, that's, Jordan's funny. Uh, some of those that would go it. through the cr- slip through the cracks that you might not discover. I call street- them slippers. <laughs> slippers. <laughs> Some of those are discovered st- via streaming. Yeah, I think yeah. Uh, nowadays it's a lot harder for games to slip through the cracks. Yeah. Because now we all have a sort option. Yeah. Wherever we go to look for games, most popular. And, oh, look at that. And then you can, yeah. And with with the, with the power of the internet, you you really don't have to have a large <laughs> follow. <laughs> oh, my goodness, guys. You really don't have to have a large following. <laughs> In order, uh, you can have a niche. You could be a niche title and still be successful via DLC. Via, I'll give you an example: Eve Online. Eve Online oh, yeah. is an incredibly successful MMO. But Do you it remember is, when we tried to play it? Holy cow! But it's probably yeah. one of the lowest membered MMO. Like it's not super. It's very niche. And yeah. they found their audience. They find their niche, and they're able and they cater to, to just be really great at catering to that niche. I we're ready for this. I want. That is that game. That game is coming to the Nintendo Switch. What game? I wanna s- no, no, it's not. Here is the news that I heard online. <laughs> no, that's not it. I feel uncomfortable with you pointing at me so hard. <laughs> no, here is, here is the news that I heard regarding Eve Online. Uh, Pearl Abyss, so Black Desert Online, just purchased the developer that develops Eve Online. Oh, I'm hoping it comes to console as a result. I, w- I would get into Eve Black Online Desert on console. Black Desert just released a remastered version. Yeah. Yeah, of, of Black Desert. Yeah, I know. Can't release the Xbox version, but they <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, so if they could bring that over, Eve Online would be a game that I would play on the Xbox. That's a game that you have Dude, to be all in. It's a game where that's a game. nothing happens for 6 months and then the entire galaxy has a giant battle and resets everything. Because it's, it's an economy-based game. Like, there's a real-time in-world economy. But professors, economic professors, have studied the economy of EVE Online because it's a real-world working economy that's created. I love created. it when games do that to real life. So cool. I know. Where Warcraft games... did that with the medical field. With oh. syphilis. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, they, they kind of did. Yeah, yeah. there's viruses spread. Yeah. 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 So cool. Warcraft, syphilis. <laughs> Look it up. So cool. There actually is a zone called Silicon. So I don't, I, I don't think, I don't think games well, are. Well, that's just the guy who wrote it was dyslexic. I don't think games are too hyped. I think there's actually, no. uh, it's, well, it's hard, with 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 everything, with information at our fingertips, it's detrimental to too hype a game. Yeah. To it hurts you more than it helps you. Wait, to not hype a game? No, to to hype a game too much. I don't know. I is hyping bad? Because like, well, I, to hyping I like a, hyping a bad game. I think. Well, yeah. Well, because I like getting excited. Because the idea, games, you know? the idea, the insinuation makes the experience more fun. Yeah, the insinuation behind the hype is that there's this excitement for a game that doesn't deserve the excitement, mm-hmm. right? It's hype. It's not real. So, and I don't, I don't think that that's done as much because in today's day and age, that hype hurts you. I'll give you a really good example: uh, No Man's Sky. Yeah. Super hyped because that actually wasn't there. 
what really hurt but that then you, game. But what if you take a game like Red Dead Redemption, a super hyped game that all they do is just drop a trailer every six months and then everybody's freaking out. That, but that's based I mean? on its pedigree. Oh, okay. that, I guess see, you're right. Yeah, I guess. That's I guess, like excitement. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. I go there. But I, the, I so now picture Red Dead Redemption comes out and it sucks. How pissed yeah, will I don't you think be? That's bad. Right? But that's what I, I don't saying. think I'd be pissed. Well, I would be. I don't know. You'd be, I'd be d- insanely disappointed. I would be disappointed. Yeah. Pissed? I don't know. I don't. I think it's physically that disappointment for it would turn to into uh, animosity, <laughs> which would make which would turn into anger. So you gotta confront. <laughs> you gotta confront, confront it. Confront and accept the emotional baggage that comes along with two hyped games. Great question, Fenrir. Thank you very much. That does it for us for this week. What another? What a great episode. Another great episode. McSpicy, what will you be up to this week, and where can people find you? Eh. <laughs> You'll be, uh. I don't know that. Uh, uh. Uh. We've had a couple of those answers. <sighs> uh, there's a couple of games I'm, I want to get playing. I've been so busy. Some more Divinity Original Sin? Divinity. Ri- Divinity. 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 Sin. And Two. Spider-Man. What? Two. Dos. And Spider Man, I want to be playing that. I also want to play some more games. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be doing. Yeah. And you can find me on Discord. And then you can find me on Twitter. And I'm Mr. McSpicy. Very nice, Jordan. How about you? Uh, I'm Jordan the Man. XOB everywhere. You can find What are you going to play? You're going to be playing some Spider Man, but that's not Xbox. But Xbox games, what are you going to play? Uh, the usual. The huge, which is? Destiny. Oh, yeah, you're in Forsaken. Maybe a little Fortnite. Should I jump in that with you? I don't know. Hey, are you guys hungry? I'm no. very hungry. You're not? No, I'm, I'm actually not. I ate before I came. I'm oh, okay. thirsty, actually. Do you want to go I'm get hungry. food? Maybe. I don't know. I'm undecided. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I go on those late night food trips and I get home and my I feel like I feel like I feel like crap. Mm. I feel like a small S. I feel like a small S. I want to be a big S. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not a small S. <laughs> that does us. I'm X1 Bros. Everybody, everywhere. I will be playing Madden. Come join me. Watch me on Mixer. Um... <laughs> <laughs> What's with your hands? I'm, hit oh, the button, baby. Oh. We're exiting. We're leaving. I'll be playing Madden, Golf Club, Divinity Original Sin. <laughs> I'm posing <laughs> if you're watching on stream. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. We love this community. This is positive gaming. It just means that it's guys that like to play games and have fun. No trolls. Check out the community. Have fun. If you haven't yet, subscribe to us on iTunes. Review us. Like us. Share us with your friends. Spread the message. We love you guys. Have a great rest of your week.